Hello and welcome back to OPPCon on Dork Tales with Dork Tales. What? Hey guys, welcome back. It is 5 p.m. our time on the Pacific Coast, uh, which means that it's 8 p.m. on the East Coast if that's where you are, which means this is the last OPPCon game of uh, OPPCon, actually. And but guess what? Dork Tales is back on Dork Tales. So we get a finish. We, we ran the first game of Dork Tales of the weekend, and now we're running the last game of the weekend on Dork Tales. And I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, really good to see everybody in the chat. Uh, tonight, we are playing World of Darkness Ghost Hunters, which is a new game from Onyx Path that is about... Uh, what do they do? They hunt something. Anyway, um, so it's a it's a game about ghost hunting. Uh, specifically, if you have ever played the game Phasmophobia, it's basically Phasmophobia with dice. So we're gonna have some fun with this. I'm seeing all our regulars in chat, so really good. Uh, yes, Amy's name is literally based off what you think it is. <laughs> so that's going to be good, and I really love having all of you here. I hope you had a good time at Onyx Path Weekend. Um, tonight's game is going to be somewhere between two and four hours long. I have no idea. We're going to play until it's not fun anymore, and then I'm going to kill everybody, so it's going to be even more fun. Um, if you did not see any of our additional games, uh, you can go check them out right now over on Occultus Anonymous, where I ran a pirate game that was really gross and very it was violent. was fantastic. But I it was very it. violent. I actually would have loved to continue playing that game. Maybe later. Like maybe a we'll do more. Like a four or five hour session. Yeah, well, maybe talk about it. Maybe we can run some dark eras for people. We could. I could make a dark era Friday after Emery's ends. Um, then uh, we also ran uh, another technocracy game, which is down in the in the VODs right now, uh, and uh, also a game set in Hollywood in the '40s, which actually was really good. I, th I thought it was really good anyway. It had a surprising ending. You should go check it out. Uh, and if you are watching this later on YouTube, uh, look down because they're already there or they will be coming out in the next... Nope, this is the last game. So they're already there because I'm releasing them in chronological order. Uh, so hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Ghost Hunters. I am your storyteller, Kelly. I use he and him pronouns, and I'm happy to be here tonight because the spooks are real. And the spooks are here. I was really worried that was going to explode. That's what I didn't grab. Oh. But I'll get up in a minute and get myself a soda. All right. Mm. But first, why don't we introduce ourselves? We'll just introduce everybody in order. Uh, I also want to thank Michael Eilat for the original f uh, overlay frame that this was based off of before I ripped all of his designs off and made this myself. But I couldn't have done it without him. So, hey. Uh, <laughs> I also really like this layout with me above all three of you like this. I think it looks good. And but the title in between, yeah. I really like that there. So yeah. for future games with less cast and for three-player games, which are really fun to have, we're, we might use this model. Anyway. I like it. It looks uh, great. I'm going to have you introduce yourself from left to right. So hi, Robin. Hello, everyone. Look, I'm I'm not wearing a wig tonight. I'm wearing my actual hair. It's great. It, it's nice. Um, it <laughs> works for my, my character. But uh, I, I, as I said, I'm Robin. I use she, they pronouns. And tonight I am playing... Alyssa Kornikova, a uh, thrillist seeking Twitch slash YouTube, I guess no, probably more YouTube because she films it and then she uploads it. Um, so she's a YouTube star who likes to uh, find stuff to parkour off of in dangerous situations and she seeks the thrills, guys. Nice. All right, Christine. Hello, I'm Christine. I go by she, her pronouns. And tonight I am playing Gracie Mills. Uh, Gracie is... Uh, Zari's uh, camera person, backup person, etc. Um, so I go out helping ghost hunters and run the tech. She Fan also goes by she, her. Fantastic. And then in the corner, it is the best name you've ever come up with for a character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so Hi, I am Amy. Amy. I use she, her, they, them pronouns, and I am playing Zari Von Luelovich. Um, also goes by Lilac Spectre online. You may have seen some of my videos. We do ghost hunting. It's a great time. I'm I'm so happy to be here today. She also uses she/her. Nice. Okay. And then just double checking that everybody is looking good. Don't need to do any last minute tweaking. Christine's a little purple, but I'll fix that. I think your your camera's loving your hair. Am I? Uh, you're coming through a little pinky on mine, but I fixed it. 
There we go. Boop. All right. So, folks, we're going to start Ghost Hunters right now. Now, Ghost Hunters is a game set in the world of darkness, not the Chronicles of Darkness. Uh, so, for this game, you would normally use it in conjunction with books like Vampire the Masquerade 20th Edition or Wraith the uh, Oblivion 20th Edition. Uh, we are using a test copy that was provided to us by Onyx Path for this adventure, and I hope you're really going to enjoy it, because it's going to be spoop. Now, with that, any further... Uh, anything that I need to tell you all? Anything that you need to know? I don't think so. I went and found what my merits do. Um, I'm going to rely on you really hard to tell me what I can do with some of the skills I have because they are slightly different and in different orders and whatnot than I'm this used to. Uh, a quick thing for those of you who are not uh, used to the world of darkness anymore because it's been a few years for most of you um if you are making a role with a skill that you do not have uh pardon me they're called different things according to the line uh in your abilities on the left the left column are things that anyone can do even if they are untrained you do not take a penalty when you're using those the center column is a series of things that you should probably receive some training for driving firing a gun etc if you do not have a point of those skills you are at a plus one difficulty and in the far right your knowledge section if you do not know an academic or scientific field i have complete right to tell you you cannot roll for example, if someone is uh, needs open heart surgery and you have zero medicine, I probably am not going to let you do that. Also, I might let you roll to defend yourself in court, or I might just say that you automatically fail if you don't have any points of law. Well, Honor, he deserved it because he was ugly. So I stabbed him. I. He ran into my knife. He ran, he ran into, into my, my knife, knife twenty-seven ten. times. Is it ten times? <laughs> ten times. Is it ten times? Yeah. What's the next line? He had it coming. He had it coming. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't. It was the, the music was going, but the words oh, yeah. weren't forming. They were just gel. Mm -hmm. I was like, he had a. He had night. it coming. He had it coming. He had it had. Okay. No. <clears throat> I don't know. Now, now the rest of the words aren't working for me. Da -da -da. Well, it's okay. Well, copyright is, uh, yeah, is a bitch. All right. Um, also, I don't know if Zoom's picking up my landlord on the treadmill. Well, so long as it's just him on the treadmill this time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. all right so with that we are going to begin our game takes place in seattle well outside of seattle washington where a group of uh me tubers or uh what uh what's i didn't say what did i say was it shutter it wasn't twitch it was it was oh shiver or something like that it was shivers. shivers some shiver streamers have gotten together to visit a facility. Now, this is a strange old building that you found actually backed onto some old, now closed down government offices. On the other side of this, you'll see that there is a, uh, the, the building that you were going toward is called JDG Cryon Cryonetics. An honest to God cryonetics facility in Seattle, Washington. You know, where they freeze people until they can cure cancer or diabetes or whatever people are being froze for these days. This place has been closed down since the late 90s, early 2000s. And you are here to take a look at it and to, uh, to break in. Now, question Did you acquire uh, permission? to go into this building. Permission? No. Okay. Why would we? That's part of the thrill. That's uh -huh. why I have money. If we asked, they'd be watching for us to be there. Exactly. Uh -huh. It reduces right. the authentic it's, nature of our investigation. Honestly, it's better to beg forgiveness and just be like, oh, we didn't know we anybody owned permission. it. That's, what, right. that's so, literally the like, who's gonna tell about me, me bio is who, like, it's better to ask for forgiveness and permission. Who drove you out there? Probably me. Okay. What kind of car do you drive? Um, I'm thinking Gracie has an SUV of some sort. Okay. It's probably a bit beat up. Maybe kind of more of a Jeep type. Sure. Okay. The, Sounds the good. The sort that looks like you could go off road in it. Sounds good. You probably have like a like a Sonoma the wheel on the or... back. Oh, okay. So you know what? You've got a Toyota FJ. Sure. 
because I'm addicted to those things and I want one so bad and they stop making them. Is that the one that I'm thinking of? That's the one that I'm obsessed with. Yeah, the one I won't shut up whenever we pass one because it looks like a toy. I want it in like gunmetal gray. Ooh, yes. it's supposed to, It can only come in blue and yellow, but this one was gold, gunmetal gray. You got the only one. Okay. As you pull up, rain is threatening the Seattle sky. It's autumn. And the leaves and the trees nearby that are not coniferous are threatening to turn into malignant shades of orange and red and fall around you. Now, this area of Seattle, to be fair, it's not actually Seattle. The area that you're approaching is kind of over past Microsoft in Kenwood. That area... Is it Kenwood? No, Redmond. Redmond. Pardon me. What, is, what the fuck is Kenwood, Kelly? Uh, so, over past Redmond, down... Uh, down by some of the parks in Seattle. Now, the thing about Seattle's outlying areas that no one is aware of, or no one really gets until they're there, is that you can go miles through places like Bellevue and Redmond and Kirkland while thinking that you are isolated. They've done such a good job in these planned communities and other high property value areas of making sure that walls of greenery block any housing. It's quite entrancing. But here, as you are past the Microsoft facility, past these government facilities, and toward this old, broken road, you'll notice that the, the pavement in front of you is cracked and overgrown with weeds. And as you approach, you'll see that the rest of the road is chained off. It's a single faded yellow chain that stretches across the driveway. You could drive around on the grass, go and try to, uh, to open the chain if you'd like. Or you could just sit here and idle and look around. Mm, I, I mean, I'm a little look around, but then I think I'm probably going to go and try and unlock locks. the chain. Yeah, I'm pretty good at picking locks. Okay. So, uh, so, hopping out, uh, since you're going to look around, I want to ask, how much research have you done on this place? Some. Yeah, that's Zari's job. Zari? Some. Okay. So, yeah. Zari, oh, I want you to have done some preliminary me. research. Give me an intelligence plus investigation role. Okay. See, most of my general field of experience is occult, but I can do some basic research, maybe. Sounds good. You're going to be at oh, a shit. difficulty... What'd you get? Is it difficulty... Level two tens. Oh, okay. Well, it was difficulty eight, so that's good. Out of three dice. Okay. Uh, so your tens do not explode in this system unless you have a specialty. So I'm two not... tens. You are going to find out the following information. Um, this appears to have been... Um, this place was actually abandoned... Uh, when the company was reformed um, in, let's see, uh, JDG cry cryogenet cryogenetic, cryogenics, Ugh, can't speak tonight, JDG Cryogenics began in 1986 as a firm that specialized in freezing and caring for the bodies of the terminally ill so they could be safely revived when a cure for their condition was found. Uh, through Dr. Uh, Let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there were stories that you found online from a Dr. Jane Kennedy that stated some of the clients that were frozen uh, seemed to be able to speak beyond the grave, well, beyond the icebox, with some of the researchers. Aww. An intern is gone on record claiming that this is absolutely factual. Uh, in 1994, stockholders uh, Kennedy and uh, George Oliver decided to reform the company and this facility was shut down. Mm. However... Um, yeah, that's what you'll know about that. If you decided to do any additional research in any direction, let me know and we can make another roll. Um, would like to do research into what do I know about... Ast She's probably thinking, like, 
astral projection consciousness things for somehow managing to reach beyond while frozen. Sure. Uh, yeah. You can make me an intelligence and a cult roll for research that you did there. Now, okay. meanwhile, as you're doing that, uh, Gracie, you're idling behind the wheel looking around. Can I get you to make me a perception plus alertness roll? just to see if there's anything nearby. And Alyssa, as you hop out of the car and rush over to the chain, uh, you'll see that it is held by a thick, about mm, about a three inch master lock. Okay, so what are the good dice? So you, game? the good dice? What do you mean? What what are successes? So if we're that, not so we're not there, exploding tens. Uh, variable difficulty on every roll. So for this one, just a general look around will be difficulty six. So when I say difficulty six, it is six and up. Uh, also, if you do oh. not, if you do, <laughs> yes, if you do not roll any successes and roll a one, please let me know. Well, all these things that I thought were not successes are suddenly successes. Oh no, Sorry. Christine's falling in love with Before the world of darkness. Before I roll, um, I have a specialization in ghosts. Do I? Does that apply here? Do I so add ten, another dice? Or do tens, tens will re-roll. Okay. Five, five successes, fantastic. Holy so, shit. So, uh, one more thing I that you I thought I had two. One Let more thing my... that you should all know mm -hmm. is that uh, if you are worried about a roll, you can spend a point of willpower in order to get an automatic success. That's the way it works. It me, But that also means that if you would normally botch a roll, you cannot anymore. The worst you can do is fail. Okay. So what was my difficulty for that? Uh, your difficulty for that, uh, for astral projection, is gonna be, eh, we'll say seven. Okay, in that case, that's one, two, and that's 10. Five successes. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just I think checking. Amy also will fall in love with this game. She's actually succeeding. I don't roll <laughs> tens ever, even in other games. So this is a little ridiculous. So specialty just means you get to explode tens. Yes. Sweet. Um, it's not specialty in lock picking. Oh, hey, I've got my specialty in larceny. I'm really good at breaking and entering. Same. That's what. <laughs> I enjoy that I have specialties in charisma and appearance. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's great. Okay, I'm just checking one thing real quick because to be honest, I forgot that it's been a while since I've rolled this, I, or since I've ran this. I need to remember if ones, ones do cancel. Uh, let's see, game mechanics, dice pools. Oh, part, or is that of, a dice, is that a house roll, right? I couldn't remember if it was a house roll or if it counts, so. Mm -hmm. What, like one cancels out success yeah i believe it does actually but it's just been it's been quite a while since i've ran one of these so that's fair and i've gotten We've mainly so, played chronicles uh, recently yeah i used to run this all the time but you know so one sec while i just open mage 20 and double check because there we go. Yeah, Chronicles is what I'm really familiar with. We didn't with for, for technocracy. We, we didn't, didn't have them cancel. But yeah. uh, I think that might have been an error. And mm. this is an. Ep I wanted you to succeed more in Mage. That's fair. Uh, so. If. Uh, oh, yeah, you only botch if there's this before negations. So negations are. Thank you, Ravnos, for reminding me negations still do apply. So uh, when you roll ones, they do eat your successes. Mm. However, okay. um, that's what it was. Thank you. It's just been so many years now. Uh, you botch if you have zero successes and ones. Mm -hmm. So just oh, okay. the, the reason I'm confused is we used to have a house rule where ones could take you negative into botch. Which is how like my ex-girlfriend blew up her hand once with like mm. 10 dice to shoot someone in the face point blank. Mm. It was great. Aw, he's got me, boo. Uh, by the way, everybody go follow Ravnos Archon. I'm going to be on uh, working with him on McStabber Studios in a mage game where I am going to play a... Uh, well, you'll have to find out. It's going to involve cocaine and ghosts, though, so it'll be good. Why, everything is cocaine is and ghosts so, with me so, so, so last, so more the cocaine. Hollywood game? <laughs> it's going to be Hollywood. Do ghosts and po punch cocaine. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the order. Um, okay. As you approach, you will see that, uh, yeah, no, there is a master lock here. You have two tools in your in your disposal that you can use to deal with this. One is a lock pick kit. The other is a pair of bolt cutters. Uh, 
Which would you like to use, Alyssa? I think personally, I'd like to use the lock pick kit. Sure, you may. So hopping down there, uh, I would like you to make me a, uh, this is gonna be a dexterity plus security roll. I believe uh, so. Larceny? Larceny? Okay, cool. That's one of the things they swapped out in 20th. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of, lot of dice. Yes. You please. are going to be doing this. It's a master lock, so that's going to be difficulty eh, difficulty seven. They're, okay. they're slightly more difficult, but it uh, depends if you have a bump key or not. I don't think you did buy one. A what key? No. no. Look it up later. Yeah. Meanwhile, back in the car, as you are picking away at it, um, Gracie, you keep your eye on the road and keep your eye on the surrounding area. What you're going to notice here is that there are birds in the surrounding trees, but they stop. You'll hear them, you'll hear them uh, tweeting and and chirping around you, but it seems like there's a completely barren stretch over up ahead where. The driveway to the left is where you'll be headed. In fact, all of the birds are behind you at this point. And as you glance back to look at the birds, you'll see that a security vehicle drives down the road past you. You don't think they noticed you yet, but it's going to be a bare thing for them not to notice you. Whether or not they're a local police department or, um, uh, or perhaps just some site security, you're not sure. I'm going to stick my head out the window and call to Alyssa to let her know. Alyssa, you've almost got this lock. You've almost got it. You can hey, make security me team. Make me one more roll, please. Okay. Sorry, I can't, um, I can't say that the birds aren't there if the birds don't shut up, so I had to shut the window. Sorry, I can't shut my window. It's too warm in here from cooking. Oh, fuck. It's not coming through yours. It's only coming through mine, I think. Oh, okay. fuck. What'd you get? I rolled no successes and four fucking ones. All right. As, as you hear her lean out the window and say that to you, you're going to turn. And that last tumbler, as you do that, your lock pick kit is going to break off inside the lock. Fuck. So she'll, she'll run back to the car. Okay. Um, is there any way I think that I can pull farther forward or off to the side of the road so they don't see me? Uh, there is a little a little spot in the woods to your left that you think you could pull, actually. I'm going to dodge into it. Sounds good. Uh, you're going to have to off-road a tiny bit, so what I'd like you to do is make me a wits and drive roll at difficulty eight. Okay, so that means eight and up. Eight and up, yeah, to not suffer damage to your car. Uh, two successes. Two successes, all right. You're going to hear some crunching under your wheels and a little bit of a scrape along the side of your bumper and the lower part of your passenger door but you're going to be able to lodge yourself in a bit of the woods there. As you hear the sound of leaves crumple behind you and branches dip down, you'll hear a crack as you push aside and a small sprig of it. Well, not a sprig, I should say, but you'll push aside some branches off of a tree and they will snap and luckily will fall behind you leaving a large coniferous branch against your back window. Accidental camouflage. How lucky can you be? Hmm. As you pull into this wet soil-smelling area, you can actually see a building about 100 meters to your right through the, through the bushes. Pardon me, we're in America. 100 yards to your right. Does it look like I could keep pulling through on back onto the... There is actually quite a large gulch between the two. Okay. Uh, but you could probably leave your car here and just walk over. Okay. Um, meanwhile, in the back seat, uh, Zari, you were doing some research. How many successes did you get? That was five. Five? Damn. Okay, yeah. so um, many people assume that cry cryogenesis is roughly equivalent to a state of suspended animation or death is what they mm. approximate it to. The idea that the chemicals that they infuse into the bloodstream in order to prevent any type of tissue damage, because part of the problem with cryonics is that you have to prevent the body from becoming freezer burned. Mm. 
what's the point of preserving someone's life if you destroy their body in the process? So a number of very caustic, very dangerous chemicals are injected in place of the person's blood, which are usually stored in bags and, you know, for later use. Mm -hmm. um, or frozen themselves. I think the blood's frozen themselves because otherwise blood, your blood just goes bad after mm -hmm. a few weeks. Um, but in all intents and purposes, the death of the heart or the secession of the heart mm -hmm. should be what anchors it people. Work. In theory, yeah. Yeah. So you think that, yes, this probably probably would work interesting hmm. now yeah. whether whether or not there'd be any ghosts still around this facility could be kind of interesting depends on if they followed the bodies out if the when they relocated mm -hmm. neat yeah you couldn't find anything about the end of the lease or when mm -hmm. they moved out but that was a long time ago it's true uh, now, quick question. Did all of you... Were all of you born and raised in America? I think so. I think... I'll, I'll to live, yeah. my okay. knowledge... Two, two of you have Eastern European last names, so I wasn't sure if yeah. you were, like, first-generation immigrants or something like that. No, second generation. Second generation? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Second generation people are the worst. <laughs> Mostly just gamers and, and wineries. <laughs> Lol. Uh, I'm just gonna pull, push up my glasses here, Kelly. Your fake nerd glasses. I know. You don't even need those, poser. Poser. Alyssa also doesn't need them. She just wears them for style too. I hate it. All right. Anyway, yeah. sorry. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, that's Robin's hand. I'm just giving her shit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as you're parked there, what do you do? Well, hoof it. Sweater on. Hop out of the vehicle. Daintily. Good thing I have boots for this. Yeah. Um, I think Gracie is gonna reach over the back of the back seat and pull what she needs out of the, the trunk instead of like disrupting the camouflage. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Zari's got a small bag, like a, a not a purse, but like a crossover, crossbody bag. Messenger bag, that's what I was looking for. Mm. I think I have one of those fancy backpacks with a padded slot for a computer, and mm. I probably kind of built in a camera bag a bit. And, nice. And slots for all my equipment for this. Mm. Yeah, Alyssa has like a, like a small hiking backpack that and then she has like stuff that she can like mount a, a GoPro. You got to your her GoPro mount. Like you have a chest mount or a head mount? A chest mount. Yeah, that's say mm -hmm. it jiggles less, right? Yeah, I well, think I had the backpack set up to have like I've attached like elastic loops to the outside and stuff like that from flashlights and. Sounds good. I'm assuming that you are all competent enough at your jobs that don't worry. I'm not going to try to ask you for anything that's like, oh, you didn't say it was on your left hip. Unless you're, unless mm -hmm. your like left arm gets caught off, maybe then. But anyway, um, all right. So stepping outside, you see it about about a hundred meters, hundred yards through the brush on the other side of a kind of a steep, um, mulchy gulch. Hmm. Looking across, you can see that an old willow tree has collapsed across it. It's a pretty thin walk, but you could probably cross on top of that tree. Okay. If you'd like to. Uh, if you would, I would like you to make me just a very simple death, uh, dex and athletics roll. <laughs> Difficulty of death. six. All right. Uh, I'm just going to check. Did somebody have a rope? This, did somebody bring rope? I mean, um, I assume probably. I probably have like some form of rope. Okay. Yeah, I because probably we... have it for parkour shit. Like if I'm hanging off of cliffs and stuff. We've made a habit safety. of like investigating this. old buildings and shit, so. Given my um, zero athletics and minimal uh, everything else. I'm just trying yep. to find my um, yep. my cat-like balance merit. I have the uh, other Cat-like balance means that your difficulty is reduced by two, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sweet. Um, I also have that one. Okay. But it was dexterity uh, and athletics. In innately perfect sense of balance. Characters with this merit reduce difficulties of all balance-related roles by two. Yes. By yeah. two, okay. 
That means that you are at difficulty four, according to uh, that version of the merit. There are multiple versions of every merit, unfortunately. So. Was there a penalty for talents if you don't have dots? That, that is the left column, right? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, I am rolling dexterity only. Sweet. Maybe I should spend a willpower for this. Sure, you may. I had six dice, and I got six successes. <laughs> Damn. I'm glad I spent I a willpower. Eight dice, six successes. I had two dice, no successes, no bot, no ones. Thankfully. And you got the so willpower. So that willpower, get me that one. Uh, quick reminder that any scene in which you adequately play your nature, you will regenerate a willpower at the end if you remind okay. me. Okay. And right. I think otherwise, Gracie is like wearing like jeans and combat boot style. Sounds good. So like laced up ankles. You and. Uh, you and Alyssa are going to easily be able to hoof it across, basically just like at a straight jog, just parkour. Uh, <laughs> basically, I Gracie, do you yell that every time. I have to. Zari, it's literally you, the law. As you step across, you get to the halfway point, and you are going to feel the tree begin to shake slightly. You start pitching to the left and then to the right, and manage to just barely squat down enough to grab it and right your balance. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you jump forward to step off, the branches at the back are going to finally snap, and the tree is going to collapse into the gulch. Well, I guess we'll have to climb the gulch on the way back. Yeah. I think we brought that rope. Can I get everyone to please make me a perception plus alertness roll? Difficulty 10. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> two! Two! <laughs> zero, and a, I got a one. I got zero, but no ones. Okay, so I think I good. botch? Uh, you botch, but it's pretty... Um, so, as you are... As you are hopping to the other side, you're actually going to get some dirt in your face from the <laughs> landing, and it's going to just kind of daze you for a second, and you'll have to fix your makeup for the camera. Uh, and as you are looking around, uh, the tree's roots are going to unearth a bunch of old dirt. Now, the, this place has not been seen in decades, really, and there, which is very kind of odd, actually, for any real estate in Washington. But as the tree tips over, the roots are going to pull up and unearth a bunch of layers of dirt. And Gracie, that is when you're going to notice as evening is starting to set in here, the littlest bit of light uh, coming through the up through the canopy above. Something glitters beneath you. I'm gonna have a look. You are going to find several shells. Huh. You're going to find um what appears to be bullet casings. They've been buried in the earth for quite a while next to this tree. Huh. Hey, sorry. Look at that. Does anybody here have points in firearms? Nope. <gasps> what the hell is yes, that? I have a point in firearms. Okay, you can make me an intelligence and firearms roll. Cool. Versus difficulty six, actually, because any okay. knowledge of firearms should be useful for this. Yeah, um, I'm going to spend a willpower since I'm only rolling two dice for this. Um, sure. <laughs> and don't worry about botching on rolls that don't matter for botching. All right. I'll just provide you false information. Okay, cool. Cool. One success. So I guess two successes with the willpower. Um, looking at those, those are not handgun bullets. That looks like, that looks like, um, there's two different ones. One of them is kind of like a plasticky shell. It looks like a, like a slug shotgun shell. And the other one looks like, honestly, if you had to quickly make it, it, it is a nine millimeter, but it, it, something about it makes you think that it's off of something automatic. Hmm. Maybe maybe the police were here at one point. Maybe the, this was the site of a police raid. Yeah, maybe. They're, or maybe those they're... are big bullets. Those are not for small guns. There. Hmm. Kind of odd. Like, 
I don't remember there being anything in the history that there'd be a there was a shootout here. Why well, is someone going hunting? I said, I hope there's not big, like. I, I mean, I doubt they'd be animals. hunting here. It's within, like, still technically within the city. Yeah. Well, yeah, Maybe but someone... it's all overgrown. Maybe Which one wasn't trying to get weird that nobody deer. bought this land yet. Yeah, well, it's weird. Like it, it's, it's pretty prime. prime. Yeah. I mean, I assume the owners just. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe it's they're haunted. actually our ghosts. They don't want to. Well, no one wants to buy a haunted property. Ooh, exactly. Ghosts. That's <laughs> why yeah, we're right here, on. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, that'll get me my next uh, oh, big boost of subs for my uh, MeTuber account. <laughs> Looking around, you're going to see that the building ahead of you is a. Uh, it's a two-story complex just slightly off the road. Behind it, you'll see, jutting over the trees, the top of a slightly taller building. Uh, a good a good 200 meters back, another campus opens up. Uh, those of you who are around here on the other side of whatever, wherever this property ends, you know that uh, the other side there is... Uh, one sec. Ooh. Hold on, I just gotta check my map. Just a quick question. How's, re since we're still in the city, reception still pretty good on our phones or is anything being weird on the cell phones, like dropping bars? It seems fine. Um, okay. You'll see that in this heavily wooded area though, there is another corporation that's over there. It's about five stories tall. You can just see the top of it above the edge of the trees as well as a stylized P hanging off of the side of the building. Hmm. Looks like that's, um, Probably the Seattle branch of Pentex. Hmm. A local subsidiary. Hmm. A local corporation that uh, does a lot of good throughout the world, I'm sure. Pentex. We sell you things that you might need. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> I like that with Old World of Darkness you have shorthands like Pentex and then everybody just knows like, oh shit. See, yeah, I'm, I saw your guys' I'm like, this must be something from other stuff that's bad, but Pe hey, I had no- Pentex <laughs> is controlled by evil and, like, literal evil, not just yeah, figurative okay. evil. Okay. The werewolves fight them, and also, they're basically oh. like all of the villains from Captain Planet. Oh, okay. <laughs> rolled into one corporation. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Um, But I will say, that's a game for another time. <laughs> yeah, so we as people, like mortals, don't know any of that. Yeah. As players. Yeah, yes, it's I like, know, I saw your reaction as players. I was just like, Tell you what, I can get a similar reaction from Robin. And on the other side is the Amazon Fulfillment Center. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> one's one's fictional evil. One's real evil. One's real, true evil. And yet I still have to use it for 90% of my purchases. Anyway. Yep. Looking ahead of you, you see that the building before you is a large two-story building. It's gray and squat and has that 1980s aesthetic. There are places for parking out front and uh, even more around the back from the looks of it. Shielded from any visibility by the heavily wooded surroundings. It looks pleasant. Well, it looks like it once was pleasant. Now, on the other side of, of uh, 30 years of neglect, you will see that there is you will see that there is, well, a place the time forgot. Once upon a time, people used to come here with hope, and now you can see that anything but lies before you. None of you have ever lived anywhere besides America, but looking at this building, it is a shell. Half of the roof is collapsed. The front doors, once glass that led into a very quaint reception area, have been shattered. Graffiti is everywhere. And the oppressive gloom of the place radiates outward. Above you, the sun is getting into the perfect position. Even with the trees surrounding you, it's the golden hour. No time like the present, right? Yeah, uh, so as we, like, approach, um, Gracie's gonna keep an eye out for anything to do with 
Evidence that maybe they've hired a security company to look after the space, cameras anywhere, that sort of thing, just to see if maybe they're trying to crack down on... Anything that will get us arrested. Mm. Yeah. Sounds I think good. we probably have a policy where we don't turn the camera on until we're inside. Yeah. Yeah. To avoid... Sounds good. You can yeah. make me a perception and an alertness roll at a difficulty of seven because of the tree line here. Three. Three successes. Fantastic. Right now, you can't see anything in your immediate area. However, glancing around, you will see that the driveway that leads up in front of this building has, of course, tons of debris strewn across it. As well as some not unrecent, is that a word? Um, tire tracks. Looks like from a truck. Probably similar to the one that you saw drive down the road behind you when you hid. It looks okay. like it's been probably a, eh, you're not a tracker, a day or two. Um, recent enough that it rained the night before last. I do have some survival. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say in the past 48 hours. Okay. So they're checking up on it like once to every couple days sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I would say that they probably check on it, check on the facility once a day. Okay. But uh, that'll, you know, probably depend on, eh, let's say once a day. Maybe twice. Okay, so it looks like they probably haven't checked today yet, then. You don't think so. Okay. But you've got about another hour until pure dark. What do you think? Well, let's go have a look. Uh, keep an eye out for homeless. Don't really want some rando drugged out. No. That never looks good on... Screen. Well, also, don't get stabbed. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that. All right. With that, who heads into the building first? I will. The front corridor leads to a direct reception desk. It's all been plastered over, and as you... Do you open the door, or do you step through the frame? The glass has all been shattered and knocked to the ground. I'm just going to step through. There's no point. Yeah. Otherwise, it would just be a clear sign that we'd open the door. As you step through, you'll hear the crunching of glass beneath your heel. The inside is a straight corridor with seating on either side. Places where you can see old ferns and other plants used to be. The, vi the vases, still tall, about two feet tall each, still remain. They're now full of mold, beer cans, cigarette butts, and condoms. Stepping inside, you can hear the sound of a distant drip, drip, drip. What do you all do? I think Alyssa is just going to start generally uh, walking kind of around, like kind of basically scouting it a little bit, kind of getting a kind of idea of how it's kind of laid out, at least on this kind of corridor, see what, what might be good places to do some shots later once it gets dark. Sounds good. Um. Gracie's also going to look around, just kind of trying to judge if this is going to come down on top of us. Sure. Also, I think she probably has, you know those great big sticks of sidewalk chalk? Yeah. She'll pull one of those out so she has it ready for if we start going farther in, because you never know. Sometimes these places you get turned around in so easy. Mm -hmm. So she'll start marking their path a little bit, Sounds mid the good. graffiti. So, looking up and getting a sense of things, so what I'd like, if you're scouting ahead, can you go ahead and make me a wits and investigation roll, just to kind of scout ahead and look for anything you might find? Um, Alyssa and Gracie, uh, if you are checking the structural integrity of this, uh, I'm sorry to ask you for this, because I just got your message, uh, but can you give me an intelligence and crafts roll? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, what's the negative for... It's a plus one difficulty, so you're going to be oh, looking at a difficulty or, of seven. Okay, so what that was was that I have no points in fighty stuff, so I was moving one. You don't need it for this. Um... You can't punch a ghost in this system very easily, so... Yeah, but then I was kind of like, you know what? If we do run into, like, a homeless dude or something, hmm. I should at least have, like, one dot, maybe? But I was thinking, the I also have Animal Ken. Up to you. You also have willpower. Um, what's the minus for doing it unskilled? It's a plus one difficulty. Plus one difficulty? So what would the difficulty be? A difficulty on this would be seven to get kind of a rough appraisal of the place. And then yeah, up what, to eight? That's... No, it would be seven with the plus one. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Then. I've got four dice. And is sorry, mine, Robin. Uh, six? What is my difficulty? Six? Your difficulty is it's six unless I tell you otherwise. All right. Three successes. It hurts to roll a ten and not get to reroll it. <laughs> all right. So, uh, scouting around. What is Zari doing during all of this? Zari is letting them scout ahead and is looking around, just trying to. <clears throat> she's just trying to get a sense of where's a good place to start shooting. And also trying to see like where it makes sense for a haunting to occur. Sorry, you hear Gracie say. Hmm. What? Come over here. All right, we'll go take a look. Okay. Stepping up around the corner, uh, Gracie, you've scouted ahead a little bit and are are looking around, just checking. It seems fairly sturdy, but. As you are looking around with that, you are going to find that some of the damage to this place looks definitely man-made. It seems like there have probably been some boot party raves here in the past. Mm -hmm. People who have come in with real shit kickers and just pounded the wall down into submission. In fact, one room as you round the corner looks like someone just kicked the shit out of it. Big, big hobby back in the late 90s, actually. There's all sorts of debris here, and uh, as you are looking around, you are going to see that uh, this little waiting area is quite well purposed for a little bit of a little bit of photography. You prepare to turn around to go and tell Zari to come in when Zari is right behind you. Whoa! Where'd you come from? There. Wasn't that far away. All right. Meanwhile, Alyssa scouting this floor. Now, uh, as you get a layout of this floor, it's not terribly big. It's uh, honestly probably about about three thousand square feet for this entire facility's floor. Uh, quite a large waiting area. You'll see some side medical exam rooms, or at least what you think they were. Uh, all of it is pretty destroyed. How many successes did you get? Three or two? Three. Three. Um, you'll find that the place seems to be an uninhabited on this floor. You will also find a stairwell. And uh, as you do, you'll notice that the stairwell leads up and down. As well as you will find an old uh, elevator shaft just off of the uh, the medical ward on the, uh, on the western side of the building. In fact, it's quite a large elevator. It looks like a freight elevator. Or the type that you'd see in a hospital, capable of carrying at least two gurneys side by side. There's no power inside of here. As far as you know, there might be a way to turn it back on. Probably in the basement somewhere. Should I kind but, of go back? Sure. Oh. Was there anything in particular you were looking for? Uh, not just started like finding cool things that she could like potentially film for parkouring so the elevator shaft is more interesting for her <laughs> true 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 <laughs> so kind of like wander back be like hey i uh found a stairwell going up and down spooky ghost basement anyone and an elevator oh. shaft as well hmm. oh well then this just this space up here just looks like it got uh Several, uh, extensive raves. <laughs> hmm. Well. Let's go down, then. 
Spooky basement. All right, spooky basement. Let's go to the spooky basement. As you head down the side hallway, the other two of you who have not been down here are going to see that there are, in fact, medical rooms to the left and to the right. In fact, eight of them, a little hive of medical rooms, as well as a large, well-appointed elevator directly between the ones on the right. The floor here was once linoleum and now peels up. It squelches as you step on it. In the distance, you can hear the sound of riveted, uh, pardon me, of, of rivets of rainwater pulsing down the walls. And that's as gross. you. Oh, it's not as gross as what I was about to say, actually. And that's that the water has soaked the walls so much here that the wallpaper or whatever paint is on them bubbles tumorously off of them. Gross. Does anybody touch any of it? No. Okay. Yes. I'll poke it with a stick. Uh, I just poke. know how squadgy it's going to be. <laughs> Poking it with a stick, you will see that the wall bubbles, mm. swells, and begins to something inside of the wall begins to thrash. Oh no! Oh no! I think we found rats or bugs. Ugh. It's going to take a couple steps back. You hear a horrible noise inside of the wall. A horrible noise. What do you do? Do you... Do Stand you just, behind Alyssa and Gracie? Can you make me... Anybody who wants to make me a perception plus alertness or a perception plus animal can roll to, get, <gasps> Ooh, to figure out I what the that. animal is? I'll do the I'm going to do alertness. Uh, alertness yeah. will be difficulty eight because it is a strangled noise. Uh, is difficulty mm. going to be six on animal can? Okay. I'm still going to try alertness, I think. Yeah. One success. Okay. Three, Three. successes. Three successes? You will hear a seagull <clears throat> drowning in rainwater behind the paint. Oh, no. I'm going to try and stab <clears throat> in with that stick that Zari was holding. All right. It Like, to rip the plastic enough that it can The get plastic out. rips and <clears throat> water comes down like out of a placenta and onto the ground falls a tumorous rotted practically featherless seagull what how is it making noise maybe there's something else in there that definitely sounded like a seagull it hits the floor with a wet slop didn't it is it last close? As you look at it from where it hit the ground there, <clears throat> its neck is bent around. The fall from the wall so. must have killed it. Oh. That must be what happened, right? Poor thing. A door. Is there anything we can cover it with? Hmm. Um Well, you can take a look around. Um there yeah. Uh, you'll find a uh, a small blanket stuffed in the corner next to uh, one of the only medical tables that's still left. Pick up with a stick and we'll place over top of okay. dead bird. You will easily be able to do so. Mm. And you'll he all hear the sound of click, click, click in the distance as a little bit of errant air moves the door to the stairwell. Just... Hello? I think it's just the breeze from the front yeah. door. The hydraulics. Well, if we're having kind of spooky stuff, uh, does anyone mind if we start if I start throwing on my GoPro? Uh, I'll edit down the footage, but I think maybe it might yeah, be a no. good time to start filming. Mm -hmm. That's fair. She'll turn on her GoPro. Okay. How are you going to open this? I need you to cut a promo. Okay, fine. So she'll take the GoPro off her, off the chest strap. She'll hold it up to the, to the, you know. Is it, has it been like an hour? Is it there's still some sort of light? There's, uh, inside of here, there's very little light because you're inside very of an enclosed light. building okay, with no power. So Gracie like, will turn on her black light and like shine it under your face sort of oh, thing. Perfect. <laughs> so you have like dark bluish light over your face. What up, parkornicorns? It's, it's your girl. Uh, we're here at this spot. 
spooky abandoned building. Uh, we're gonna do some little I'm just teaming up with uh, Lilac Specter, and uh, we're gonna do some ghost hunting slash. Maybe I'll jump on a bunch of weird random shit. Anyways, gonna be uh, alive rolling this. Uh, I'll hide it down the footage so you don't hear see the boring stuff. But maybe we'll see some ghosts. If not, we're gonna have a lot of fun in an abandoned building. Woo! Put it on our camera. I'll turn the black light back off, but uh, um, I'm going to pull out the actual flashlight, though, mm. and probably some of the little bits of equipment that Zari likes to use, like EMF, mm. air, one of those electronic temperature readers. Sounds mm -hmm. good. I've I'm got have a flashlight like, pockets. Like, I have, like, have big-ass pockets on my jacket. I've got, like, f two on the chest, two on, like, Not on the waist. Yeah. Got space for this. And everyone, just remember to keep an eye out for somewhere that's got, like, a good open space that's not super, super messed up. So that if we do find some ghosts, we can pull out the Ouija board. Oh. Yeah. And she'll click up on her flashlight as well. Yeah. She'll pull, like, like a, put a whole holster over for a flashlight and put it on her shoulder. Sounds good. I'm going to tighten up the backpack so it's nice and strapped on. So if I have to run, it's fine. Sounds good. Ahead of you, the door... Click. Who pushes it open first? Oh, Alyssa. She's oh, and I pull out the little digital camcorder, too. Sounds good. It will push open easily, groaning as the old hydraulics struggle against the, uh, the weight of the door. Looks like they've rusted. That's probably what it was. The hydraulic pressure kind of pushing against a little bit of wind resistance. In fact, as soon as you step into the the stairwell, there is a sudden <gasps> gasp of air that the space takes. There's, it's just air pressure from this floor. Most of the other, you think that most of the uh, rest of the building's windows are probably intact? Probably just creates a negative air space. Yeah, that's Obviously, it. right? Yeah, makes Obviously. sense. Yeah, makes sense. Before you is an old stairwell that's lined with debris. It leads down. Do you go? Very carefully, yeah. yes. Do you yeah. want us to wait up here for a moment, Alyssa? Well, if you want to test that stuff, do a mm. quick little parkour thing <gasps> down. Go test oh, it, then come back up and yeah. parkour down. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. She'll kind of like, yeah, kind of test the, the railings and stuff, and like go down and kind of make sure like the railings are sturdy. Oh, and you've probably got like really nice let little like leather glovelets yeah, that maybe yeah, have to leave the, the fingertips have, like, the free yeah but have like nice firm like sticky yeah almost like yeah or like a lot gripping. of like leather plus suede on the palms so it's actually yeah. reinforced so you don't like stab rusted metal into your hands yeah so she like go down and then yeah test the railings and stuff to make sure she can do they will hold her weight when she goes down and then she'll run sounds back good. up to do parkour shit sounds good you are going to jump around and uh what i'd like you to do is uh can you give me a favor and make me a dex and athletics roll to do some cool parkour cool uh it's going to be difficulty of of seven because i think parkour is but you're going to be fine which turns into difficulty five for you yeah because i also have I have specialties in both athletics and dexterity relating to parkour. <laughs> Perfect. Five successes. Five successes. All right. So sliding down the banister, jumping off of a number of exposed pipes and landing. You are going to uh, pull a flip uh, at the bottom and land casually there in front of the door. It looks like there's only one basement here. So. Okay, safe to come down. Awesome. I'm good. Coming. There's a bit of debris at the bottom of the stair. It looks like, uh, looks like people have tried to, uh, well, looks like just a bunch of broken things here, to be honest. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to provide you additional information unless you ask for it from now on, because that's fun. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of broken boards and things on the floor, and uh, as you are looking at this door, it's uh, fairly sturdy. It looks like a fire door. Right. Does it look like it's been opened before, or does it... 
actually it doesn't look like it's been opened before looking in ahead of you it it appears locked there's a security window well, one of the ones with the mesh through it that's not big enough for anybody to fit through maybe an arm uh that has been bashed in but has not given the chicken wire built into it is held pretty strong uh however there is a um well there is a lock unfortunately your lockpick kit is broken Um, can I have a go at it with my break and enter specialty? Uh, sure. Do you have, uh, do you have any tools on you that you could do this with? I'm pretty sure she carries a crowbar. Crowbar, considering okay. Considering what her and Zari do. Okay, it's that one sounds of those good. It's one of those little ones. Um, so real quick, as you're walking okay. down the stairs, can I get a, uh, a wits and alert, pardon me, a wits and awareness roll off of Ooh. either of you two who are following Alyssa? Yep. Okay. You said wits and awareness was a yes, possibility? Please. Yes, What's I the did. difficulty? Difficulty's going to be six. Okay. Oh, well, uh, one. One. One success in that case. Fantastic. And I need to know, both of you, what kind of shoes are you wearing? Combat boots. Mm. Boots that are laced up and not quite combat, but still pretty sturdy. Fantastic. Uh, as you take a step down, uh, Zari, you're going to not be able to stifle a scream. Uh, as you step down onto the bottom rung, you didn't see one of the broken boards had an upturned nail. It's almost like it scoots under your foot and immediately... Oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry, that wasn't on my list. So No, no, it's all good. Uh, so you're going to step on the nail, think a quiet place, and it is going to be just a shock of pain as it somehow manages to puncture <laughs> through your boot. Yeah, oh, no, she's going to... It, hold up. Um, and I think she's probably got like an emergency first aid kit for things, but Sounds not good. like any in depth. So she's just gonna like sit, hobble over, and like sit down on the nearest, cleanest ground section and take a look at this. Yep, that's gonna be a point of lethal damage that you're gonna take. Uh, okay. But I'll let you reduce that to bashing with a successful medicine roll. Okay, so I have one dot in medicine. Cool. So make me a. It's gonna be Dex or Wits. Your call. It's gonna be Wits. Yep. If you take time to do yeah. that, that's the worst part of a quiet place. Mm -hmm. God, that movie was good. I can't wait to see the second one. Also, what we kind can of debris down there? Uh, so, what's the debris? difficulty on this? Uh, difficulty on this is it's just a routine, so six. Okay, one success. One success? Okay. Yeah, it'll downgrade that to bashing. So you'll be able to patch it up, put some gauze mm -hmm. underneath it to stop it from bleeding, and yeah. bandage it up really quick. Uh, looking around um, on the floor, it looks like someone tried to bash in this door, actually, with a couple of chairs they took from upstairs. Um, as well as... Um, yeah. Well, do, which way does this door look like it opens? Into the space we want to get to, or back into it us? It opens back, so... Uh, okay. So they did it the wrong way, so it's it's sitting against a frame, obviously, then. Yeah. Yeah. So bashing it in is going to be very difficult. The hinges are protected, so you can't so just So I'm going to try off. and pop the crowbar in where the, where the, the bit is? that goes into the door frame okay. is, so what and try I, and pop it. What I want you to give me is a strength and larceny roll. Okay. Nice. Also, and then break and enter just lowers the difficulty? Uh, break and enter means that you explode tents. Oh, right. Nice. Okay. What's the difficulty then? Uh, to pop this open, this is a pretty strong door, so it's going to be difficulty eight. Okay. Uh... Three successes. Okay, that was my that was my determination for the lock. So, um, pushing forward, you're going. It's gonna take you a few a few tries of wiggling it between the frame and really just wrenching on it. As you pull back, it's going to be a grinding snap. The door will sag open. Nice. Bits Gracie's of, gonna kind of turn to Zari though at the same time, and be like. So, we need to get you some nice-looking, like, steel plate shoes. Apparently. My good pair got sent through the wash. Remember the thing with the dog? Yeah. Yeah, I still don't get how we put shoes in the washer. I... Anyway, I need to replace them. 
Yeah, you need some good thick soul stuff. I've I I have I have done that unfortunately in the early early days of my career. Oh, when we get it's back out, fun. we're gonna have to get you another shot. Yeah, you might wanna always keep up to date for shots if you're doing weird well, building shit. More that if you get stabbed with rusty iron, you can yeah get yeah, but man, because yeah, you're going <laughs> regardless. Around. But yeah yeah. Well, we had a couple good runs, so it was bound to happen eventually. Ow, that's fair. Ow. She sit, like, flexes her ankle right. and, like, twists her boat, foot, ar foot around and, like, stands up and tests well, it out. Don't forget to pull yeah. out your flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Keep an eye out now. Now that we know. Yeah, weird. I didn't see that nail when I was just checking out the stairs before. I didn't Sorry. even see it either. It must have been blending in. It yeah. It must have just blended into the shadow, right? Mm. Yeah. As you open the door in front of you, you feel a rush of cold air. Your breath comes ragged in fog out of your mouth. This place is an ice box. Jesus, it's cold down here. Oh, yeah. That means ghosts. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bring the thermometer out uh, and cool. start pointing it around. Like, how cold is it? Well. <laughs> Uh, because you actually asked, uh, inside it is, uh, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So, oh. pull up a converter. Converter, yeah. uh, 7.2. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's chilly, it's chilly, but it's not... Yeah. It, it is... That's uh, pretty freaking chilly. That is, yeah. that is cold That's enough that you would probably have some exposure problems if you slept in it. Yeah. yeah. But you'll also hear something in the distance. Something mechanical. Now what ghost hunting equipment do you have out? Um, so I have the camcorder, I have the digital thermometer, and I think I brought out the EMF reader. Okay. Yeah. I can I'll offer the something. EVP to Zari. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Alyssa That's will also the... have the uh, EMF Sorry, reader just... out as well, as well as her flashlight with the yeah. red lens. Yeah, I've got that. Do. I have a Ouija board, and I have a ghost trap that I don't pull out yet. And one yeah. sec, I'm just checking um, what EMP does specifically in this system. EV? Oh, you're right, EVP. EMP is a completely different. <laughs> Which, <laughs> just a quick question. Yes. Um, does this seem like a typical coldness for a basement? Seems colder than normal. Or like a normal. cave. Uh, colder than normal. Caves actually, uh, natural caves stick at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. They're actually I was going to say, cave systems in California generally sit about 58. Oh, do they in California? I actually looked it up. Oh, because in Missouri, <laughs> they're usually between 60 and 70. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. Mm. Yes, different areas of the states. So in areas like Texas, they're 70 generally okay. because it's so much warmer there. Yeah. Uh, so in that case, um, yeah, for something depending on the surrounding rock, it's it's a bit colder than it should be, but maybe something with the way that it's constructed. Yeah. The I mean, trick about this game is saying yes, but that's totally within reason. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, no, no, I'm oh, gonna yeah, say yeah. like Gracie does like I'm asking this to try and determine what Gracie might be noticing as weird mm. versus what she's thinking is weird. Okay, so just checking what we've got. So do we have an EMF meter? Uh, yes, so I have an EMF so, reader. I yeah. also chose, chose one as well for myself. Um, I've handed you the EVP. So that's I have the digital camcorder yeah. out. We also do have a thermal camera if you want to be running that one. Uh, if you would like to, as you step in, who's stepping inside of this this next area? I will. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you all step inside and help Zari across, um, you will hear on your EMFs. Uh, to not be fooled by this, what you'll need to do is make me a wits and science check. Difficulty six. Okay, so is that hearing or... Is it, isn't EMF the one with the, like, the little lights? It's the lights. Oh, it's it? the one with the light. You're EVP right. is the EVP sound. EVP is the one with the yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so that's the one that Zari has. Uh, so yeah, it's going to, as you step in, it's going to click up the e 
I'm talking to you guys, so the EMF. Okay. Yeah, the EMF. Okay. Okay. So, wits okay, so that science. was wits and science? Wits and science. Sweet, I have a point of science. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what was the difficulty? Six. Two. Checking around, you will... You'll check the uh, the way that it lights up, detecting electrical signals, and it's detecting something but to the left, not the right. As you hold it to the left, now mind you, you're standing in a hallway here. Uh, directly in front of you, you'll see that the elevator shaft goes there, um, and uh, is, is you know just there on the right. But you'll see that an old sign on the wall. Now here. The building is just as decrepit, but you won't find any of the debris of squatters or ravers here. Instead, you'll find the forgotten remnants of a rotted out building. Now, the air inside of here smells awful, and there are bits of paint and other just... Actually, looking around, you'll see bits of ash floating in the air. Huh. Do they have a fire in here? It's kind of weird. Hmm. The walls oh, are fairly um, black. Yes. Gracie, I think, is going to kind of do the, oh, wait, um, and move a block of, like, debris. Okay. So that the door doesn't close. Sounds hmm. good. Uh, as you are looking around, uh, you will find that uh, the EMF meter uh, seems to be acting toward the hallway on the left. In fact, guys, over there. See this, guys? Look at that. Look at that. It's actually lighting up on me front to the left. Look at that. Look at that. Ghosts. Who knows? Grace, well, let's you go check it out. With your science sure. roll, what you will decide, or what you'll be able to see, is that it is... It's actually acting along the walls. Mm. More than anything. I wonder if it's reading old electrical lines. It actually mm. is going to, with your two successes, is going to take you both right to an old light switch. Oh. I wonder if this works. Yeah, flick. Oh, I was gonna say use a stick. <laughs> a moment later, after struggling, the fluorescent bulbs of this hallway, about a third of them, are still active and will suddenly flare to light, exploding Shit, the black. still has power. Molding huh. walls. That's weird. Ooh. Must not be on the city grid. Or I honestly think it looks better with the lights off. I didn't want to see all that mold. Ugh. Ew. Oh, yeah, good point. Um, masks? Yeah. She'll kind of put her bandana I mean, we got some of the and... N5s in our bag. Mm. As that happens, uh, Zari, you're kind of just looking around here. Where mm. it lights up next to you by the door, you'll see that directly in front of you is laying on the ground a sign. It looks like a floor directory. Hmm. Go over, kick it. Like gently with the boot if there's something on it. Absolutely. Uh, so what you will see is that it says the following. Uh, second floor, administration, mm -hmm. as well as, pardon me while I just pull up my notes real quick. Uh, second floor, administration. Uh, Dr. Jane Kennedy. Mm -hmm. and, and so on. Uh, first floor is uh, medical, medical one, and reception. Uh basement is one second because I can't find uh, basement is uh, training and conference mm -hmm. basement two nursery hmm. basement three computer mainframe restricted Basement four. Cryonics. Hmm. Computer mainframe restricted, was it? Computer mainframe restricted, and it uh, looks like the cryogenic facility proper is in the fourth basement. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is a lot more basements than I expected. And she's saying that out loud. Wait, there's more levels? There's... Yeah, there's like four basement levels. <gasps> that... We want... Basement was training and... Uh, what? so you right now are in training and nursery. Oh, pardon me, training and conference. B2 is conference. nursery yeah. and, uh... What uh, does nursery mean? And, and lounge, nursery. actually. N nursery uh, and lounge. 
Why would there be a wow. nursery level? Should that be upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. With offices? Maybe. Oh man, if we get some weird possessed dolls, <laughs> no, that'll be fun. Don't jinx it. Yeah. Don't jinx it. Don't, don't jinx it. If you say it, it means you're asking for it. Like it's not, it's not an invitation. Ghosts. And she looks around. Uh, can I get everybody to make me a perception and uh, alertness roll? Alertness. Okay. It's difficulty six because the lights are on. <laughs> Zari's not very alert. She's really not alert. Um, okay. Though you said difficulty was six. Yeah. Okay, so if I have a Perfect. seven and two ones, then I have. Uh, you have a fail. A fail, but not yeah, a not full a botch. botch. Yeah. Uh, okay. Glancing around, you will all see that nearby is um, <laughs> it's almost invisible uh, behind some of the old destroyed wall, but it actually sticks out like crazy because it's the only thing here that doesn't look like it's worn away by time. There's a metal panel on the wall just over there on the right. What's that? Looks like a fuse hmm. box, actually. Sorry? Looks like a fuse box. Oh, Gracie's gonna go check it out. All right, uh, it is just is painted to look whatever color these walls used to be, but as you pop it open, you'll notice that aside from the lighting grid, uh, there are a number of labeled and still labeled, although the stickers have yellowed, um, indicators for other fuses in this room, including elevator shaft which have been uh, blown at one point. Huh. So the elevator shaft was blown, it looks like, but it might still work. Is there or... any other stairways to go down? I don't yeah. know if I trust an el old elevator. I really don't trust it. That's fair. Unless it's the only way. Yeah. I mean, if it's um... restricted, they might very well have. Yeah, it's true. Wouldn't they have emergency but exit fire. access? Yeah, yeah. Maybe fires, because elevators don't work they in fires. Something. That's true. So, so let's look, look around for yeah. Let's look around for a stairwell. And I, if not, no, well, maybe I should flip this just in case, anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, come on. So yeah, Gracie's gonna pull like a pen out so that she's holding something plastic and mm. fl try and flick it that way. You'll hear behind you. As an elevator begins its motion behind you, maybe they have a back. They had a backup generator in case of like a blackout. I mean, they don't want. I guess if you're freezing people, yeah, makes sense. I guess I'm just surprised that it's hasn't been gutted. Well, yeah, they haven't. Or that would still work because don't those normally need maintenance? How long has this been abandoned? Then I. Well, Weird. it's been abandoned for like probably 20 years. Weird. That the lights will flicker overhead and you'll hear hmm. ding behind you as the elevator comes to this floor. That's weird. Huh. Do Maybe I get... this is the default level? Is there an Maybe. up for this elevator? There, there is an up for like this same... elevator. Oh. Huh. Weird. Well, if the elevator goes all the way, there must be... The elevator door is open behind you. Turn around and well. look. <laughs> cool. Uh, can I do... Can I get a favor? Can I get everybody yeah. here to roll me willpower? <laughs> so I'm just rolling my willpower dice? Yes, please. So I've so spent a willpower. Do I only roll... F if I had five originally, uh, do I only roll, roll four? Oh, God. Do you know, you roll your you roll your permanent. Your permanent. Okay, okay, so you roll the number of dots of willpower you have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't believe that it counts down. At least that's never the house rules we have used. So... Uh, what's difficulty? Difficulty six. Oh. Well, then okay. in that case, I definitely succeed. Three. Out succeed. of five dice, I got five. Perfect, wow. perfect, 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 perfect. Um, <clears throat> as the door opens, the lights are going to flicker off, and you are going to find yourselves almost in perfect darkness for a moment. And as you turn, your headlights are going to illuminate inside of the elevator. They are going to illuminate wide panicked eyes and you will all in a brief instant hear a woman's scream as you watch a woman riddled with bullet holes lunge out at you and the lights come back on and it's an old elevator
cam, cam Gra Gracie, do you have the camera going? Yeah, no, it was it was going. Did did do you see that too? Uh, I yeah. think so. That was that uh -huh. was Okay. Mm -hmm. Um So I guess actual haunting? I mean it's yeah, we, we could have just, it's trick of the lights, right? It's like the after images yeah. you see. You'll hear the sound of a door slamming shut behind you. Your it, bit of debris is not in the door anymore. The I, door has shut. Did you I blocked the, that open. You sure? You. Mm -hmm. Okay. The wall well, I'm going to go to that door and see if I can open it now. Because I'm on uh, the good side of it. Yes, yes you can. Uh... Uh, unfortunately, as you grip it, the door is must have warped or something because it's stuck tight. Uh, and can uh, I get everybody to make me actually Zari and uh, Alyssa make me a uh, a perception and alertness roll? Alertness. Okay. Dif difficulty five. Perception and alertness. Okay, after that, may I roll some occult dice? Yes, you may. Uh, so you are going to try to yard on the door. It is held tight. Or start to push on the Sorry. door. Like what was the difficulty is, again? Difficulty is five. Then I got two. Two. Uh, as you turn around to look at what Gracie's doing, you will see that next to her, on the wall, written in what looks like either blood or something worse, are the words, don't look back, right next to her. And you don't think they were there a minute ago. Don't. Okay. Um, Gracie, you might want to step away from the door. As mm -hmm. you are saying mm -hmm. that, the two of you will hear the sound of scraping behind you. And a rasping breath behind you in your ears. Zar just, just give me just... a minute, guys. The door must be stuck. Damn it. Oh, I moved that Freezes. concrete block on purpose. And she's going to start taking a couple steps forward towards Gracie. Sounds good. Yeah, Gracie's going to listen... try and shoulder the door. Sounds good. Gracie, give me a strength and athletics roll. And uh, can I get a favor, please? And that is a favor from Zari. Uh, yeah. Zari, can I get you to do me the honor of rolling me? Mm-hmm. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Uh, can you give me... Give me a willpower roll, please. Okay. What's so my difficulty? My... Okay. Uh, you are, your difficulty for this is going to be 10. Shit. Zero and successes. My... Uh, six, please. Oh, in that case, three successes. Now, tens don't re-roll on willpower ever, do they? Sure, why not? Okay. In that case, three. Well, it was three, three. before anyway. It's fantastic. Three. Um, what are you doing, Alyssa? I'm so... Oh, I'm so tempted to look back. <laughs> oh, what Alyssa look back. I think she's a little bit freaked out, but she's still kind of skeptical. Alice is going to turn around. Uh, as you do, you will find that Zari is standing directly behind you. Like, you will turn almost nose to nose. You almost have an accidental kiss. Whoa. You thought that she stepped in front of you, but she must have stepped back or something like that when you... <laughs> You were in front of me, weren't you? Oh, sorry? Sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, you were in front of me. I'm... This is weird. Oh, this is weird. We should... We should keep going. 
You there's were locked be an, in. I mean... There's gotta be another way out. Let's go. Yeah, we... There's probably yeah. a basement exit. Gracie, you slam your body against the door a few times. Gracie! And oh, shit. On the other side, some of the debris has fallen down and is pinned the door shut. Shit, we're gonna have to find another way out. I guess the elevator goes up. Yeah. Where we saw that weird bullet riddled woman. Yeah, that sounds great. We should head down. There's probably another way out. I don't think going down is going to get us out. There might be another stairwell. Yeah. Come on, let's go. You hear a phone. Echo from a lower floor up through the stairwell, or probably up through the uh, open elevator. There's phones? In any case, we can't leave yet. And Zara's oh. gonna turn and start walking towards the elevator. I mean, yeah, F let's oh, go. For the, okay. for the for the views, right? Hmm. Can't have me chickening out while Zari's okay with this. Let's go. She'll um, steal her nerves and follow Zari. <laughs> uh, so, one sec, I gotta do something real quick. Hell yeah! Cool, 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 cool. Let's see, uh, who argued against going downstairs the most out of the two of you? Alyssa, you probably? I think it was Alyssa. Yeah. yeah Alyssa. Cool, 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 cool. That is one, two, three. Okay, cool. Um, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, rem I'll remember to do something to you in a bit. <laughs> awesome. All right. Stepping awesome. into the elevator, you will feel that it jerks slightly from the sudden addition of the weight of three bodies, as it has not held that much up in years. The buttons have been pried off for floors one and two. Which one are you pressing? The one that is oh, not pried off? Sure. Uh, so, uh, uh, minus one, minus, or B1, two, B1, B2, B3, and B4 are all available. So. Might as well start at the bottom and work your way up, right? Yeah. Okay. So B4. Uh, as soon as you step inside and expect Zari to press the top button, she presses B4, and the door will shut behind you faster than you expect elevator doors to shut with a shuddering <laughs> Well, let's all kind of like lean over to Grace and be like, is Zari, uh, is, is she usually this like, she's seen kind of cagey before, now she seems like super into this. Does she usually get like, take a while to get into this kind of stuff? I mean, she could get a little intense. Okay, okay. I just know this is the first time collabing with her, so, you know. Okay, so you have also... Sorry, I'm checking your equipment real quick to see what else you can do. Dowsing rods, ambient temperature device. Um, it gets cold as you descend into the basement. I guess with Thank electricity, I wonder if their freezers are still working and just broken. I mean, if, you know, if this building, if it was pumping a lot of cold air to keep everyone frozen, the Earth does realistically hold energies and heat pretty well. It probably kept it cold, maybe. If there's this backup generator, it might still be running, I guess. And yeah. uh, I need all of you real quick to do me a favor, because the elevator grinds to a halt after one floor. And then you'll hear the brakes release. And I need all of you to make me a dexterity. Uh, and actually, pardon me, uh, make me a stamina and... Actually, you know what? This is Old World of Darkness. What am I doing? Make me a stamina roll. Stamina. Stamina okay. versus it's... difficulty six. You are you are so soaking... just stamina. Just stamina. You're soaking impact. Okay. Oh, phew. Oh, difficulty no. six? Difficulty six, always, yep. One count... Zero. One. Zero? I oh. one cancel it out. Three. Three. Okay. Uh, Zari, you are going to step forward and uh, are going to 
be kind of thrown off your feet. You're going to bang yourself against a wall and take uh, one level of bashing damage. Okay. So bashing damage is just a slash. Uh, that the elevator will slam down to a grinding halt. Gracie, you're going to be able to squat down and absorb the impact. Uh, however, uh, Alyssa, it's going to be bad for you because you are going to be not braced accordingly and are actually going to stumble slightly and crack your head against the back wall for two points of bashing damage. Oof. Also, check your health track. When you are when you have the... Um, you take... Oh, this is always a point of contention whether or not you take the next health box or you take the marked one. Uh, so one sec, let me just double check something. Different people do it different ways, even though mm. the rules are a certain way. Mm. Uh, so pardon me for one second. That's the cookbook, Kelly. You don't need the mage cookbook. <laughs> or do you? Mm. Maybe the ghosts will not kill us if we make them a nice hearty meal. What makes you think that we're not the nice hearty meal? You know what? True. <laughs> Especially you, Sketchy Von Sketchovich. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, health levels. Health levels. They're already the ghosts. <laughs> um, okay, so real quick. Uh, so you suffer the health levels of the box that you have ticked. Okay, so I've ticked. I have bashing in two boxes. So I will have a hurt minus one then? Yeah, so that you're a minus one to all dice pools. Okay. So, uh, so because this is my first time like properly taking damage. So bashing is just I do two slashes down? Just one slash. Yeah, so just you go slash, slash. Uh, so one slash for box. Yep. And... Yeah. Let me just so remind slash, myself. Slash down, and then okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was lethal, it would be an X in the box. X. Oh, and okay. if it's ever X. ag, you just fill it all the way in. Uh, recovery yeah. time. So here's the recovery chart, because my God, it's rough. Um, mm -hmm. Healing damage chart. Because I'm used to New World, where it's 15 minutes of bashing damage. Yeah. Mm. Which is easy to miss. Um, I'm just checking this real quick. Healing damage charts. Uh, well, how about you? There we go. Uh, so, uh, bashing damage, uh, bruised to wounded mm -hmm. is, uh, cumulative, by the way. It's a one hour per level of rest mm -hmm. will heal that. Or one hour per light, you know, non-strenuous work. Mm -hmm. um, if you manage to reach mauled, then it's three hours per level until you're wounded. Mm -hmm. If you're crippled, it's six hours. A lethal damage, a bruised heals in one day, a hurt heals in three days, and then you need a heat a day for the. Basically, it's all it stacks. Yeah. Okay. So it takes time to heal. Um, way better when you're a werewolf, isn't it? Where you heal a point of lethal damage every every round. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. The elevator will slam Ooh. to a stop at the bottom. And the doors will remain shut as the light in the elevator goes out. Only your headlamps exist. As do four shadows on the wall in front of you. Looking down, if one of your flashlights has fallen out of your pocket and cast a glow from behind casting fearful shadows on the wall in front of you. Gracie's gonna pick it up. There are four shadows. <laughs> and as you move the flashlight around, there are only three. It was a weird angle. Oh, this place is spooky. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna said pull out the crowbar and try and open the, the doors. In the elevator? Ow. I, can you... Well... She'll, well, Zari's gonna pick up her flash, her like flashlight, I guess. I guess it's either on a head thing or it's on a shoulder thing, I'm not sure. Um, and she'll pull out her kit and see if she can like check the back of Alyssa's head just to see how it's doing. Oh yeah, it, blood is re-dying some of her roots at this point. <laughs> it's, it, it's I not gonna one, need stitches, one but that is, it's, 
she's got a little bit of blood dripping out the back, but she's definitely gonna have a goose egg there. It's not gonna be, you don't think it's a concussion? But that's a hell of a knot. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. That's gonna suck to brush your hair every day. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, Gracie, can you just give me a strength and athletics or strength and larceny roll? Uh, your difficulty... Uh, I think I would prefer larceny. Cool. Your difficulty six on this, it's... The gears of the elevator door are still working. Four. Okay. Four. Sounds good. Um... As you put your back into it, you'll find the place at the bottom, and uh, two points of bashing damage is not a concussion, chat. I would say you need a point of lethal head trauma for it to be a concussion. It would just be a, uh, it would, if anything, it would just be a headache. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I, I whacked, I got, I got a nice goose egg a year ago from a, a tank winch. Uh, th from yeah, a tank, you got shot it. by a tank. Yeah, that's it. A little blood, it was fine. It was fine. That's it's, it's, it's all That's bashing damage. That's not concussion. It's bashing. It's fine. See, you shrug off bashing. All right, so, um, Gracie, you put your uh, put your back into it and wrench open the doors with a grind. You'll find that you have actually fallen beneath the bottom floor, and the um, the down into the the slop space. In the slop thing? space, yeah. So the um, the actual bottom basement floor is about two feet up. Not terrible, but enough you'll have to hope up. All Direct, right. Directly in front of you is a simple corridor leading to the left and to the right. With the word on the wall, a plate directly in front of you that says Cryonix Bay. To the right, oh, pardon me, Cryonix Bay to the left, and um, Bionix Bay and uh, Laboratory to the right. Is who's climbing up first? Can someone give me a boost? Yeah, sure. Um, um, Gracie's gonna actually crawl out. And then reach back down for Zari. Okay. So, because I think Gracie and Alyssa are probably the most athletic. Yeah. So Alyssa should be able to get out without. Yeah, Alyssa much will help. just puff herself up. Okay, you're a little sore, but you you've had worse. Oh yeah. And climbing yourself up, um, you are going to find yourself. So you're in a hallway, and just before it, the elevator is off a little, almost like a plateau of. Uh, of seating area right here. Okay. And as you step up, you will notice something immediately on your left. Lying on a set of chairs, little waiting chairs, is a body. Long dead. It's a man in a suit, pitched over. Did this place get abandoned in a hurry then? Well, I mean, we saw ashes. Maybe there was a fire. Lo the fire door locked, trapped a whole bunch of people down here. They suffocated from lack of oxygen. Who investigates the body? Does anybody oh. want to? Yes. Oh, really? 100%. I mean, I'm curious as hell, so yes. But <laughs> now Alyssa will go up. She's... She's he lo He looks like terrible. He looks, as you approach, uh, can you give me a wits and medicine roll? Or wits oh. and investigation? Uh, I will do an investigation because I Sounds don't have medicine. <laughs> Two successes. Um, as you check, the suit is soiled badly. He didn't die from a fire, he died from three gunshot wounds to the chest that his suit has flopped over. The wall is streaked with old blood. And as you adjust, his desiccated, mummified face is going to 
shift slightly, and as it does, a card is going to fall out of his breast suit pocket onto the floor. A business card. She'll pick it up, take a look at it. Sure, sounds good. It is, um, uh, his name, presumably, uh, was, uh, was Dimitri Watson of Terrell and Squibb. Does that name uh, Terrell ring and, any bells? Terrell and Squibb Pharmaceuticals is, okay. is the name on it. Hey, guys. This guy was killed with, like, gunshot wounds. Like, there was obviously Life. a firefight. And are you going to continue to check the body? Yes. Uh, he has a 9 millimeter on his hip. Huh. Uh, can she investigate the gun to see if it was had any shots fired from it? Uh, you want to take the gun? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you so as you look over at uh, as you look over at Alyssa, she is going to unholster a nine millimeter pistol. What are you? What are you doing? Did I say revolver earlier? I said I, you didn't. I said gun. You said handgun. I think. Yeah, you okay. said gun. All right. So uh, you will pull out a handgun. Uh, checking it quickly, it is a full clip. So he didn't Unless shoot he had it combat first. loaded, in which case he would have had one in the chamber, but that's pretty bad yeah. for the springs. Question. Yes. Is Washington an open carry state? Ooh. Or I even mean, a concealed carry state? Yeah. Uh, that was my next question. <laughs> Would this is have it been a common fucking thing weird for that him? this dude yeah. was in a it workplace is, with a Ill gun? It is illegal for residents in Washington. To, Washington, uh, oh, pardon me. Concealed carry is legal for residents with a Washington CPL license, uh, and that has been so since. She'll go rifle for a wallet then to see if if he was legally Dang. allowed to carry this gun. Uh, yes, he. Uh, if you rifle through his wa wallet, you will find the following things: a series of business cards, as well as a uh, hundred and ninety dollars in cash, uh, several expired credit cards, including an American Express and a Diners Club card. Hmm. She'll take the American Express. Probably will be part stolen, but hey. Uh, well, probably is expired Dang. by now. Oh yeah, true. Expired. Uh, you'll find Don't a concealed carry permit, uh, as well as. Um, uh, Ooh, what else would he have in his wallet? Uh, you'll find a picture of his family. Looks like he has three kids. Had three kids. Okay, she will take the wallet and kind of put it in her backpack and be like, well, maybe at least we can go talk to the family. And at least, maybe, if there's a bit of missing persons thing. At least Is he, can... like, law enforcement or something? No, he's a pharmaceutical guy, but he has a license to carry. So, still weird could... that you'd carry to work. I know. And that, does it, he looks like he got shot. Yeah, he was shot. Weird. Yeah. L uh, yes, sorry. Must have happened. Z Once she sees that they're fully loot, like looting the body and looking for things, she's just gonna step away and keep an eye out just in case. There's, Sounds good. Um, like Gracie's not trying to loot or anything. She's <laughs> just trying to be like figure yeah. out why he's carrying a gun, what yeah. happened to him. Yeah. yeah, that's what she was like, doing. She's just like, doing? we can give this... Don't as, disrupt the body, the ghosts! As you step into the hallway, you will see that there is um, there's a corridor that leads down to the left with a sign above it that says cryonics. The door is shut and the lights inside are off, but there's a blue hue inside of the doors. To the right, you will see that there looks to be a series of chemistry labs, or just medical labs in general. I, there's no other signs of, like, bullets on the walls or things that might be bullets. I don't know. Zara, Zara doesn't know what bullet holes are supposed to look like. As you step into the hall, you'll see that the ground is, in fact, littered with the same shells that you saw outside. The small ones. She's gonna kneel down and pick one up. It is identical, and you'll see that the walls are Swiss-cheesed. 
there was a firefight. What happened fight. here? Hey. Hey, guys. Yeah? yeah? What's up? Get over here with the camera. Okay, okay. All right. And Walk watch out. Quickly <laughs> over. Don't, don't slip. She's carefully, like, stepping around the debris on the ground. What went on here? As you turn around, you are going to see a hand behind you. Hmm. On the ground, one of the chemistry lab doors is propped open. An arm lays holding it open. Propped it. Like the debris you used earlier. Pinning the door open. Gross. What happened here? Learned about why the bodies are still here. Like... Why is there an arm holding a door open? That's the grossest thing I've seen yet. Or like, okay, dude over there is shot up, but he didn't manage to pull his gun and t take any shots in response? Yeah, that's weird. Like, the like, the, the the clip is loaded. Maybe, like, he had sorry, one did you in the Did you see anything about, like, a shootout here? Or, like, a mass shooting? She's gonna try and remember if there's anything she read other than just that it got, and she's like, she's like, no, I don't think so. She'll pull out her phone and see what she had We're saved. We're in a freaking mass grave, it seems like. Yeah. Um, you have zero signal down here. Unless you bought a satellite phone. Did you buy a satellite phone? Um, no, we I did pick up one of the phones from oh, the, the inventory. Ones? Yeah. Okay. So what I don't I, think okay. she knows how to use it to any great extent other than just because I she wants reception. I would like you to do me a favor, and I want you to make me an intelligence and computers roll. Okay, I do not have computers. Okay. Uh, then... However, you know that Gracie does. Do you make like, Gracie do it? I feel like she's the type of person who would go to relevant sections in advance when she was doing the research and screenshot it. So as long as the thing turns on, she can check her pictures, but she can't do anything fancy, I figure. Okay, so you can check your screenshots. Uh, you can yeah. make me, in that case, uh, you can use investigation instead of computer on this okay. to notice a discrepancy in something. Like, just to see if, like, wiki pages or anything. So you said intelligence mm -hmm. and investigation? Yes. It's still not a large tool, but it's still something. Uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty on this is going to be, because you didn't notice it before, it's going to be eight. Damn. Nope. Nope. So looking My at it. My is a seven. You, no, you don't see anything particular. What about the other two of you? What so. are you two doing? I think she's just going to still, like, maybe, like, in, like, investigate the walls to see, like, if there's any sort of obvious direction that maybe, like, where the firefight was kind of coming from, if you're in a sense, kind of thing, looking for like a concentration of maybe where this started. Gracie is very, very curious, so mm -hmm. she's gonna go investigate that arm. There's as good... much as it's freaking her out that that's probably another dead body. She there... still wants to go see what's in there. Mm -hmm. As you prop the door open, the lights are flickering down here. In fact, out of every ten of the fluorescents, one of them is still fine. Although, I will say, moving down the hallways, many of the fluorescents decorate the floor in shards. Here, pop, pop. Uh, yes, Amy. You're muted. I am muted myself when I went to unmute. Oops. Oops. Um, oops. oops. Zari would like to try and remember what she knows about ghosts in traumatic, horrible deaths. I'm sure. That sounds like a wonderful thing to do. Um, you can make me an ant and occult roll. Sweet. And I have a specialization in ghosts. Because you ain't afraid of them? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <clears throat> yes, you I are. Hold up. I re-roll tens, I said, right? You do. Um, what's my difficulty rating on this? The difficulty on this is, I'm going to say six. Okay, hold on. I'm at three already. Perfect. You sure there wasn't anything in the research, Zary? Five successes. Five successes. No, but... Okay. Ask me some questions about ghosts and traumatic situations. Um, how likely are they to be aggressive and actually try and kill us? 
depends on the circumstances of the death, but uh, likely Misery Loves Company is, is they would like you to join them or they lash out at you uncontrollably, like children, really. Mm. Interesting. So um, do you still have reception? Uh, like yeah. a quarter of a bar, maybe. Sort of. Here. She's going to toss her phone over, yeah. And then she's going to take a look over at the other door. Or which door? Well, there's... There, so the cryo yeah. doors are on your left, and they're kind of glowing She's going to go slightly. take a look at them. Okay. Uh, as you approach the first door, you'll see that the cryonics door looks to be locked with some type of digital keypad. At, as well as a deadbolt. This is high security for this thing. But looking through the small frosted glass window that's about, honestly, about two inches thick you'll see that there are a number of what almost look like uh, those meditation pods that your mom likes to use. You know, the, the floating in goo pods. Your mom's a, one of those, isn't she? Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. I always wanted to try one of those in real life, but they're going to freak me out, too. This uh, isolation the chambers. Censored, yeah. Yeah, the deprivation. Sensory depth, yeah. Sensory yeah. Depth. yeah. All right. Now uh, I'm just thinking about Fringe. Oh, I want to watch Fringe again. Yeah, right? Fringe is so good. Go watch I've, Fringe, I've everybody. actually added that to the list, Amy. I've not seen I Fringe. I may have already added it to our list. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Add me to your list as well. I'll add you to your the list. Yeah, watch me. What is this list? I'm excited. Uh, the list of things Robin needs to see. Yeah. 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 Fringe, is, Fringe is like, great. Like, the last season yeah. was cut in half, and it really uh, feels it, was, it. Because it, it really... I will say season four kind of sucks. Yeah. There's interesting things in it, though. There, basically, Walter is the best part of the show. Yeah. Yeah. And the cow. Anyway. <laughs> so. You try the door, and unfortunately it's locked. You see that it looks like there's some, some type of swipe key that you can use to override it, probably. Actually, you know what? This is the 1980s slash early 90s. Yeah, it'll be a swipe card. It'll be a swipe card. Okay. Uh, behind you, though, Gracie, you turn, and uh, you were headed toward the, the arm. Yeah, but then stuff that Zeri was saying was made me demand her phone. Sure. Because I am good with computers. So I would like to try looking at her research and maybe searching Sure, something. using her research, what I'll allow you to do is make me an intelligence and computers role. Does uh, my connect the dots apply? Yes, it does. But finding this is going to be a very high difficulty. You're going to be difficulty nine to figure this out. Okay, but this allows me to reroll tens. It does. I believe in you. Three nines. Are you shitting me, really? Um, I had seven dice. So that's not too, too bad. The research that Zari did on this place is incredibly, incredibly rough. Uh, this is going to take you about ten minutes of, get, of like looking around on this. Um, you know what? This is probably going to help me calm down a little. <laughs> sure. Uh, you are not quite where you need to be for this role to discover everything, though. I, That's fine. So this is going to be an extended role. Uh, another 10 minutes will be required. Uh, okay. Which, uh, so we'll be back as you're slowly looking at that. But you're starting to connect some dots. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the rest of you, what are you doing, Alyssa? You've been kind of quiet for a few. Um. Well, she said she's trying to, like, follow the path of bullets to try and see, like make any sort of like heads or tails of the situation of like maybe like where where it was concentrated like if if there are people and if she doesn't find anything she will then go to the arm on the by the door the if, trail of bullets if, uh, leads that way actually and as you head over ooh. there while um well gracie is searching things headed over by headed over by the door there you will see that there is an arm lodged in the door Cool. It's a prosthetic. Ah! It's a mannequin arm, painted to look like a human arm lodged in the door. Huh. She'll, like, uh... <laughs> She'll take the arm. Uh, does the door, like, stay shut, or does it, is it, like... It'll, it'll start it... to shut. It's hydraulic, so you'd have to okay, push, so into, she push will... into the chemistry lab. Yeah, she'll push into the chem chemistry lab. As you do, I was gonna make a stupid joke with the hand, but I'm gonna go in the room. What were you gonna do? I was gonna go tap Gracie on the shoulder with it. Okay. 
Uh, so as you prepare, <laughs> but if the door is closing, she won't do that because she Sounds wants to good. get in the chemistry lab. Uh, as bag you... of dicks. <laughs> I know Alyssa is. Don't worry. Uh, I vote that Alyssa dies first. <laughs> stepping inside of the room, you will she see that anyway. the arm was once attached to someone as their prosthetic arm before they exploded. Their remnants decorate this room like confetti. Their guts hang from the ceiling. And you will feel a squish under your boot as you step in as the last moisture from some unnamed organ, because I'm not allowed to mention it, squishes under your foot. <laughs> I took a list of yeses and nos I was allowed to say during before, or before this game, during this game, so... Yes, a biscuit squishes under your foot. Uh, mm. <laughs> Gross. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Zari. Zari wanted to go. If this thing looks like it needs to be opened with a um, a uh, key card, yes. then I need to find someone or the remains of someone who has a key card. True. So. Hmm. Perhaps going and into the other room and checking to see if there's any scientists? Sure. Yes, there are a number of chemistry labs off to the right. Um, mm -hmm. Alyssa is stepping inside of one right now. And, uh... What? Hey, Alyssa. And you will Let me know in... if you... Okay, sorry, go ahead. No, she's like, she'll just say basically where she was... Uh, she was stopped. And you will see that it looks like a person in this room was torn inside out. You have not seen a gun yet that can do this. Then again, I've never seen what a gun can do to a person, so... A, it must be a big gun, then. Yeesh. Or an accident during freezing? Ah, uh, fuck if I know. I'm not a scientist. That's true. Um... One second. And she's going to turn around and go out into the hallway. Take a moment, and then she's going to come back in. Okay. <clears throat> it doesn't smell, by the way. It's been 20 years. There's barely anything in there that you recognize aside from old gore. Is it really damp down here, or is it cold and dry? Oh, yes. It is very cold down here. Your breath is coming. It's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Dry yeah. or damp, though? Uh... It was dry, these will be mummified remains. Yeah. I'm For 20 roll. years, cold and dry. Uh, it's cryonic, so it would be dry cold, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so, yeah, upstairs be... was so wet that I wasn't sure yeah, if down here was sealed as well. It's sealed yeah. pretty well. So it'll be oh. mummified. Okay. So still gross. Still oh, gross. Yeah, yeah so um, mummified bits, mm. which gives you that wonderful stretch skin, dark yep. brown stretch yep. skin look. Mm -mm -mm. Can you tell Christine's an anthropologist? Anyway. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's good. It's cool. Um, uh, hmm. um, let me know if you find a key card. And... Uh, okay. I'm just going to step back out quickly. All right. Sh Alyssa will look for a key card among the gore. Okay. Uh, you will not find any immediately among the gore, no. Um, what you will find is, let's see, you will find, you will find an old Nokia cell phone from 1995. Of course I survived. Of course, it's a Nokia. Does it, does it, I guess the battery would be dead by now, but she's like... Oh. Yeah, the battery would definitely be dead. The phone will work. You just got to charge it. Uh, actually, yeah. one sec. I got to check. I got to check one thing real quick. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. I was mistaken. Uh, flipping it up. Uh, oh, actually, never mind. That is correct. Um, you will notice that... Uh, give me an... Do you have technology on your sheet? Yeah, and I've forgotten it. Give me an int and tech. Okay. Because Nokia is kind of a specialized... 
You know what? I've got lots of points in tech. Because <laughs> we, cause we got it. Because I got it. And it's a one shot. I'm going to spend a willpower because I only have two dice for this pool. So I'll get an ex I'll get a success at least. Uh, and I actually I actually gave you the wrong information. Uh, as you hold it up, it is going to be a... Uh, you're holding up a Nokia 9000. Uh, it's Ooh. basically a Nokia phone that has like the built-in antenna nub at the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, take, I definitely these might are play with my parents. As hell. Yeah, oh yeah. And I give me an instant technology roll. I'm really glad I spent that willpower because I rolled a ten and I rolled a one. Cool, cool, cool. So, this was released in 1996. The research on the facility that you were provided earlier said that this facility closed in 1994. Yeah. 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 Cool. 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 You awesome. have you have a a weird thought in your head right now. Is there anything else on you right now that might have a date on it that you have acquired from this location? The, the wallet with like anything? driver's license and stuff like that. Yeah, she will uh, pull out and actually give like the license and the and the sure. um. Uh, give me the... a wits and investigation roll, difficulty six. Uh, two successes. Two successes. Fantastic. Flipping through, you are going to find a couple of things that are going to conflict with the information that you were given earlier. Um, one moment. That old phone. You are going to see that there is a, a dry cleaning stub inside of this man's wallet from 2000. His driver's license is set to renew in 2002. Okay. And his this credit card is... is set to expire in 2003. This is... What? Although it's it's late 2002, it's supposed to expire. But anyway, yeah. So generally, um, they only last four or so years before they yeah. expire. So nope. uh, guys, that means like 98 or something was when it was issued. What? what you um. Find? So I found this Nokia 9000. This was yeah. released in 1996. This guy, I checked because that was odd because this building was supposed to close in 94, like you said. So I checked this guy's wallet more he is like a money guy he had a dry cleaning stub from 2000 his license is set to renew in 2000 was set to renew in 2002 and same with his credit card was 2003 well, someone came in here after so this and had it was this running in 2000 thing. if he had a yeah. dry cleaning stub for then not necessarily yeah. unless they were cleaning up after everybody left but he was shot to death so One, some you guys were saying that there were scientists in those rooms. Huh. Dead ones. Eh, eh, eh. So mm, yeah. actually, let's do a minor retcon actually. Let's bump this ahead even an extra two years. Let's say that the dry cleaning stub is from two thousand and two. Everything else is from two thousand and three and two thousand and four. How's that? Okay. That makes it even creepier. Mm -hmm. Like more recent. <laughs> yeah, sorry. If about it was that. a dry cleaning stub, he would have had to redeem it to get his stuff back. Yeah, he wouldn't like just this, be holding it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 2002 when he got his dry cleaning. Like he came down here and died in 2002 before picking it up. Yeah, uh, I will say. Do you check how many in successes on investigation did you get? Two. Cool. Uh, there's a phone number written on the back of the dry cleaning stub with a little heart drawn next to it. All right. So he might have been hanging on to that for another reason, but Not just sure. just to make sure you don't yeah. fixate on that. Okay. Looks like he might have picked somebody up. But uh, still, he had stuff Gary. of that date here. Yeah. Mm. And he's shot to hell. Yeah. But you said he was a pharmaceutical company. This is making me cards. feel like they had some sort of secret lab thing secret? going on yeah well yeah. If you, it's been an, it's been about another 10 minutes you want to make me another roll yes okay difficulty nine do it so that was int and intel and computer yes it was okay 
Oh, and my tens exploding yep. applied, correct? Yep. Okay. I love pens exploding. Six. Six? Holy shit. Okay, you are actually going to be able to find... Um, so not on Wikipedia, but you do a little bit of research and are going to cross-reference... Um, is it JGB? I believe I said it was. Yeah. Uh, you will find a couple of things. The little bit of wiki entry that you have on, on JGB uh, is going to say that, yes, the company went under uh, JD, JDG, pardon me. Uh, it began in 1986 and um, went under uh, and reorganized in 1994. Was it bought out? Yes, it was, and you see that that page has been regularly scrubbed. Any further edits have been locked as of 2005. What you're also going to find weird. is a quick... It's going to take you, like, that extra 10 minutes. Um, go ahead. And uh, as you do, you are going to see that this... This building used to have a different name. This was JDG, but it was bought out by... Well, it was reformed into another group. I'm just waiting for Robin to get back for, with her water. You will find a article from, the, uh, from a Seattle newspaper that says... Cryogenics... Uh, pardon me, that will say um, that's the spirit JDG reorganizes as the Orpheus group Orpheus do you guys know have you guys heard of the Orpheus group? and anybody who wants to can make me an int and a cult roll absolutely yes, yes. the article says that um, that the organization believes that they have found a way to speak with ghosts uh, and are willing oh, I to, absolutely would do a book then. I should, at least. I hope. And are willing Spending to offer willpower. services to the highest bidder. Spending willpower. What's the difficulty? Difficulty yeah. on this is going to be eight. We'll say eight, because they're obscure. <laughs> One. And, One uh, success. My tens explode, because yes, I do. have a... Yep. So you got one? Hold up. Okay. Five. Five Nin successes. In 1996, a corporation oh, called... Pardon me. In 1996, a corporation called the Orpheus Group went public and made their technology and themselves available for hire. They were corporate mediums who be who said they could speak with and deal with ghosts. Uh, they lasted for about seven years, becoming a kind of an underground national phenomenon. Hmm. Um, they, they were Ghostbusters legitimate Ghostbusters that made themselves available to the public, although uh, they were not allowed to broadcast on most airwaves, they're still talked about in some select circles. Uh, they suddenly went quiet in 2003? Late 2003? Huh. Um, apparently they went out of business. Although with six successes, uh, you will have heard that the actual story is that they're, they they fucked with things they weren't supposed to and were uh, all brought down with an FBI raid. Oh. And I will share that information happily. Ah. That but, explains the firefight, I guess. Well, yeah, but generally they clean up after themselves. What about that dude's family? Yeah, I know. Like, just because he got killed in, like, resisting might, arrest or something. They might have looked after the families. I, I don't know. Yeah, but you generally give the body back. Not if you don't just leave them where here. they. Don't just leave them where they died. Not if it's too dangerous to go back in. You hear a slam door down the hall. The oh, door, this is getting. The door at the end of the hall is suddenly slammed, and the lights inside will flicker on. You said they were messing with things they shouldn't have, and they got a raid from that. Oh boy. 
And it might still be down here. Pro probably is, actually. Mm. Well, we can't go back up, so... Let's Only keep way. going. Only way out is through. Yep. Yeah. Well, this is gonna... It's like, I'm sure this will not kill a ghost, but I am feel kind of a little safer I found a gun. Not gonna lie. Gracie's just gonna... It's gonna help. I don't think so. Keep the crowbar close to hand, because it's kind of cold Sounds iron. Good. Sounds good. She's not sure if it'll work, but she remembers fairy stories about cold iron and ghosts and shit. As you step forward toward that door, it's to another one of the science labs. On the other side, you'll see that it's actually, it looks like the head room of this hallway. About 30 feet by 30 feet, old science equipment covered in dust and debris. There are a couple of bodies on the floor. Oh, more. Inside of the room, the door will open as you push on it. Three bodies on the floor, actually. Two scientists, and one of the scientists is holding a revolver in his hand. Lying on the floor, dead, next to the door, is a man in what looks like a SWAT uniform. A submachine gun held tightly in his gloved hand. Two bullets punch out the back of his helmet. They didn't even remove their own dead. Uh, it must... That's a great sign. Not much scares the squat. Nope. The gun's still there if you want it. I don't know how to handle it. Zari doesn't either. She kind of wants to go grab it just in case something possesses the bodies. Sounds good. Oh, why did you have to bring up that option, huh, Zari? That's yeah. cheerful. Thanks. Yeah. Tipping yeah. the body Just get over. the weapons away. Uh, you will find that... Uh, pardon me. I'll kick the revolver away from the other body then. As you kick the revolver away, um, the body will not twitch, but it will shudder from the motion. And you'll hear the sound of something click against the ground. Something plastic. I'll use the crowbar to turn them over. So the I don't have is, to touch them. Uh, the body is badly damaged. And uh, you will see that... There we go. Uh, you will see that there is a swipeable name badge. Dr. Oh. Doctor Morgan. Uh, Doctor... Zari, I, f I found a, a swipe badge. Grab it. And Zari, as you, it's going to take you a second because this submachine gun is wrapped around on a throng, or on a mm. strap. As you do, um, it is going to cause the corpse to roll over, and you'll see that it has a very distinct patch logo on it, black on black. That's a that you can read in the light. Next world. What is next world? You can make me an intent occult roll at a very high difficulty of nine. Sure. Is anybody, do you have this conspiracy? Specialty? I do not have conspiracies, no. no. I just have the one. So I will not reroll to loud, though? Yeah. I will join you on that to see if I've heard of it in my yeah. ghost travels. And occult. And no rerolling on tens for me because this is not about ghosts. It's not about. Ah, uh, yes, reroll, please. Okay. So I will reroll tens. No shit. I had rolled two dice. I got a nine and a ten. Got three. Two nines and a ten. Holy shit. You what was the difficulty? Nine? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What'd you get? He has Russian background. She spent time on the dark, mm. deep web. <laughs> one success because I, I found got something on a two tens and a one. Somewhere. Okay, so uh, what you will have heard of is that next world, um, following the Orpheus train, is a another protection a projection firm that came up about that time. Um. <laughs> They were a private security firm. Hmm. Uh, here's what you will also know. There were rumors that they did more than just security. That their agents, like Orpheus, had the ability to talk to and communicate with the dead. Potentially hmm. to hire them. Or use them as weapons. These they guys were, were just fantastic. Ghost soldiers. Awesome. 
And <laughs> actually, I'm going to give Alyssa a bonus for this. As far as you understand, the firm was originally a byproduct of Soviet experimentation during the Cold War. Hmm. These oh, are great. legends, of course. Probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. The motherland is awesome again. Oh, great. This is tying in brilliantly. This sounds like one of those cracked up conspiracy theories that get posted online. Yeah, it does. And it seems like we're in it. Truth in everything, isn't there? The stories come from somewhere. Yeah, and I just never wanted to live one. I didn't really believe in Ghosts Untold tonight, and now I'm kind of freaked out by it. Suddenly, the lights in the room will flicker. And a few of the computer terminals, old, <laughs> old PCs, old Dells actually, are going to start to boot up. Bong. Windows 95 will, pardon me, Windows 90, 2003, Windows ME will blare over a few of them. Well, somebody obviously wants us to figure out what's going on. Um, Gracie's going to go over and try and use them. Sounds good. Um, they're password protected. However, um, you are going... Uh, yeah, so the computers are all password protected. Looks like there are two of them that are have booted up. Uh, okay. The password... Pardon me. The name that is listed there is um, M... M M A N X. The dude's badge that I have. That was Morgan. So Morgan. So we've got an M. So there are three dead people in the room: two scientists and one soldier. I'm gonna go check the other scientist and see if he's okay. got a badge. Uh, as or you push her over, her. Um, you will see that uh, it is a woman who was shot three times in the chest, um, which shattered her badge. Uh, but you will see the very bottom of it says NX. Okay. And Her LL computer. at the end, probably Michelle, Michelle Manx. Do you check her at all? Look her over? Yep. Sounds good. A uh, quick pat down reveals that she does have a, uh, uh, she has a key in her pocket to a nearby cupboard. Well, while I'm doing that, by the way, while I'm planning to try and find stuff, I'm going to be kind of muttering to them of like, I really hope you're the one who's trying to get us to figure this out. And I really hope we do for you. I'm really sorry about this. This is creepy. Find the key. Okay. Uh, as you uh, find the cabinet that is directly underneath the computer, it will click open easily. Inside, taped to the inside, is a little post-it note with a password on it. I will use that. Sure. Uh, it's like it an escape room. <laughs> It's yep. like an escape room. <laughs> uh, and right next to it, you will find a series of sample drawers. They catch your attention immediately because what's inside is very intriguing. These are glass sample drawers. And on the other side of the first one, you will see a series of baggies. Do you open the baggies. drawer? Yes. I'm so. curious as fuck. Of course I do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say... Alyssa. It's my flaw. I have oh, to. Oh, that's true. Alyssa and Zari, you are right there if you would like to as well. Let me just change my tabs. Oh, um, yeah. Absolutely looking at oh, this. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, I am curious to my own detriment. <laughs> and one moment. I have to just check one brief thing. I'm stubborn and overconfident. Like, she's going to be going to do like, shit just because she thinks she's going to be fine. She tries to be very careful in what she does, but that doesn't counteract the fact that she will open shit because she's find curious. A, yeah. uh... She'll just look for like rusty spikes and like blades and stuff that will right. hurt her. Um, the plastic cabinet is locked, but you'll be able to open it easily. And inside you will find a small lumpy granular powder inside of each of these bags. The powder's black. What the hell is this? black. Uh, if you want, you can each make me an int and streetwise roll. Oh. I do not have streetwise, but you're allowed to roll that one. Streetwise. You are. So, so int. Okay. Int. I'm going to spend a willpower to give me one success. Uh, what good. was the difficulty? Difficulty on that's going to be um, it, 
gonna be you know it's gonna be seven because it's pretty it's it's a little more difficult one success yeah. one uh, success you when you were in dare as a child uh <laughs> they showed you what different drugs look like this looks like heroin why the hell do they have a sample box full of heroin what the f is this how they talk to the ghosts like did they all I... fucking take heroin I don't. I mean, I kind of feel like that's just a bad trip. The next yeah. floor down will have additional things in it. Beyond the uh, the basics for that, you'll also find that there are a series of pills, little black round tablets in the next one down. Yes. And at the very bottom, you will find individually packaged pig tattoos, press-ons. Are these the tattoos that they used to warn us about in elementary school? The drug ones? He, it transfers? I have Travis leg freaking out in the chat because he knows what I'm doing here. <laughs> I, I don't know. Can I see? Yeah, sure, here. Hmm. Um. The press on tattoos? Next Press on <laughs> drug tattoos? Oh, come on. That's Those ridiculous. You should, you should try one. <laughs> it's got a pig. It's a cute pig with a skull face. That is oh, the really skull unnerving. face. Yeah, that makes it really no, it looks like, like... A hot, it looks like a Hot Topic pig. It's cute. This is like early 2000s Hot Topic. It is cute stuff. What, did you expect one of them to be foamy the squirrel? Come on. I don't want to try try anything that's in here, but I'm gonna take a look at everything and try and see if anything right looks. Sure. I don't know. Uh, anything like, to do with ghosts? <laughs> um, well, you have the computer password. Would you like to pull it up? Yeah, I'm gonna Kay. turn on the computers and use them. Sure. I'd like you to make me an intelligence computer rolls just to find uh, to find some basic files and see what's going on here. Okay. Do oh, I have to do anything like with technology or just computers? Trying this would be really bad, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you don't know. I mean, it's trying heroin. It's up to you. Yeah, Her I hear, true. I hear it's really good. Wants. Okay, what was the difficulty? <laughs> um, the difficulty. Uh, this is six. Sweet. Once you're, once you're in, you're in. Uh, five. Five successes. All right. You are going to quickly find that there are a number of files directly on the desktop, and uh, you will see trial tests pigment. Trial test pigment. Click. Pig. Sure. <laughs> Looking through, you will see that is a series of lab trials on a street drug known as pigment. Um, pigment, also known as black heroin or black H, is a designer drug. It's cheap and easy to maintain and actually um, was on the verge of creating a bit of, a, uh, of an epidemic, similarly to how fentanyl is today uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, it was the drug of, drug of choice for many addicts who couldn't afford cleaner stuff. And actually, at the time, it seemed pretty clean from the looks of this. This is basically what you're getting off of this. Effects of pigment on the body include mild hallucinations, ecstasy, sexual arousal, and, according to our recent reports, most unusually, the ability to see, hear, and talk to ghosts. It can be smoked, injected, swallowed in the form of the pills, see drawer two. I'm going to be just stream of thought reading this as I go or through. Or administered via a tattoo patch. See drawer three. This form is known as piggyback. Pigment can also be used to assist in projection. Cute. We're concerned that amateurs are using this as well. A number of hues have been recruited specifically for, well, from this procedure. It's good to try to give them something back since we can't help them anymore. The substance is highly addictive. Please see files on hues for additional material. Uh, and then it's a bunch of science data where they're trying to break down the chemical composition to see what the hell is going on here. Uh, there's a little note at the bottom of one of the pages that says, uh, recent reports show that we believe that the pigment is created by using Cacos stromathicarum, a plant uh, mixed with spectral ichor at the moment of germination. Similarly to uh, blah 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 blah. It is 
it is this department's opinion that Terrell and Squibb Pharmaceuticals may be responsible for its production. Weird. You guys heard of this place? Yeah, that was the guy that we saw in the waiting room. That's the guy I have the gun from. He was from Terrell and Squibb Pharmaceuticals. Hmm. And, uh... Um, I'm gonna click into the other file. Is there anything if, else if in this room file while, like, a list of... A bunch of, a bunch of science a... equipments and stuff. Um, there's something o under there, under the micro... micro uh, under a microscope over there. She'll take a look. Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Cool. Uh, you know how I said I was gonna do something to you before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, as you... There's something on a slide there, and as you slide it out, uh, you are going to... You don't know how you do this, but it's going to snap in your hand and it's going to slash your thumb open. Awesome. And as it does, the black powder residue on it is going to touch your bloodstream. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> microscope, microscope slides are really easy to, to they break. They are, actually. they are. Which is yeah, just, yeah. it's going to slash up your thumb and awesome. you are going to see it dissolve into your bloodstream. Fuck. Cool, 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 cool. Um, You are going to start getting waves of shivering from you just and then you're gonna actually somehow you're gonna feel your pupils dilate you're just okay. gonna feel your body start to get warm uh amy you were asking for slings yeah zari's really distracted and doesn't want to keep listening to all of this she's looking for a key card because she wants to go check out the cryogenics room still absolutely you will find that t that key card that um that grace so she's not paying it. attention to what Alyssa's doing and she's like okay apparently they think that heroin can make you see ghosts as far as i'm aware that's ridiculous but whatever okay do heroin punch okay. ghosts we about mm. to find out guys um, and she's gonna head out back to the other room so she's wandering off because split the party Sounds but gracie good. is focused on the computer so she's not necessarily noticing this because she's Trying to read through stuff. I'm going to make a roll. Uh, so looking at that, Hughes. Um, what Which, by the way, I do have the concentration merit. That sounds fantastic. I want you to make an intelligence and occult or science roll to figure out what the hell these reports are talking about. Oh, you know what I kept forgetting to do? What? I take minus two off the difficulty for computer rolls. Well. Keep forgetting about that, uh, that merit. Go ahead and uh, make that roll for me, please. Occult okay, so or sorry, science. it was... Science and occult? Or occult. Or occult. And it. it okay. Connect the dots um, will apply. I will do occult, I think, because I've got more dots in it. Sounds good. And what was that difficulty? Uh, difficulty is going to be at... Uh, it's esoteric. I'll say seven. Sweet. Uh, three successes. Three successes. All right, so you're going to learn the following things real quick as uh, you are not paying attention as someone else leaves the room and you hear the snap and cut of your friend. Um, it appears that the Orpheus group used to hire several different types of employees. Um, people who could naturally project from their bodies. People who required cryogenic suspension to do so. Oh, as shit. well as spirits. They use the chirogenics for this. She's talking as if Zari's still there listening. She hasn't noticed that she's left. And um, when they refer to Hughes, they're referring to spirits created by ingesting pigment. Reports. How many successes did you get? Three. If you die while under the effects of pigment, you become a ghost. Oh shit. It and there is there is data in there that suggests that if you die after taking it, you become a ghost. As in, you know those rumors about how LSD stays in your spinal cord? Yeah. Yeah, um Yeah, so just just don't die. It's fine. Just don't die, it's fine. She's gonna kind of give the the glance at the stuff, like, I think most of that stuff has probably been sat now on top of the desk. Yeah, it's all, like, just laid out. You can make a lot of money. Go sell this at, like, at, like, Pike's Place. <laughs> uh, she's gonna kind of do the... Ooh, not touching that. Did, did you, like, mumble the, like, if you die while I've absorbed taking this? Would you have said that? Yeah, probably, like, read it, it and went, oh, that's awful, and then read it. You'll <laughs> hear Elizabeth say, 
Oh, guys, don't oh, touch fuck. that stuff. Oh, fuck. I, I, I cut myself. This is hilarious to you, by the way, Robin. Okay. It's hilarious, and you're a okay. little turned on, and you don't like it. <laughs> This is the most inappropriate time to be horny! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna swap over. As you approach the door. Amazing. <clears throat> as you approach the door, pardon me, we can go blue. You hear Gracie's voice come to echo down the hall. What? <laughs> Alright, as you approach the door, the key card will swipe immediately ahead of you. Sorry. And you're in a room with a dozen cryopods. Eleven of them are open. One is not? One is not. Ooh, I need to know. As you approach it, you will find that there is someone sleeping inside. A young African-American man in his mid-thirties. The power has stayed supplied to this room the entire time and the dull blue glows around. They must have had some type of internal battery or off-grid power system. As you look down, you will hear a voice in your ear. Help me. Help me. Let me out. Uh, you are no longer possessed. Thanks. Cool. Cool. Mm. You will see... I had a, suspicions. You will yeah. see a version of this man standing directly in front of you. His throat is wrapped with barbed wire that crisscrosses down his entire body, bleeding spectrally. But... Aren't you... Are you... Thank God you're here. I've been... I've been sleeping so long. I... Please, let... I need... The cabinet, the red... I need... Okay, oh, just point, you just have point. To, he starts flickering as he tries to speak. <gasps> before... Before she gets... Can I try and go to the cabinet he pointed at? Sounds good. Um... Inside of the cabinet, you'll find a series of tubes and syringes, as well as it looks like places where these kind of, um, these tubes can be injected, or not injected, but more like fix fitted into the side of the machine to be mm. auto-fed. The I... computer systems are old and archaic, but you can try with your zero computers. I will attempt it with my zero computers. Sounds good. Um, so it's not going to be computers so much. Uh, you know, do you have any medicine? I have medicine one. Okay, I'll allow you to do this with medicine at a difficulty nine. Ooh. Because you have okay. no computers. I will willpower. And then, what is it? So it's medicine and what? Medicine and, uh, I'm going to say wits. wits. I'm going to say wits. Okay. We're going to do wits. Cool. Cool. I can maybe do wits. So yeah, spend a willpower and what did you say the difficulty was? Nine? Nine, please. Come on, I need to help a ghost. One success. Oh, two with the willpower. I keep forgetting two that with automatically. The yeah. All right. Uh, as you jam the red solution inside, um, you are going to hear. Thank you. I. J oh, fuck. The ghost said. You've just heard a ghost say, oh, fuck. Uh, meanwhile, across the hall, down the way, uh, you, Alyssa, will hear a voice in your ear. She's coming. You have to get out of here. She's coming for your friend. Um, Gracie, it, we what? need to go. <laughs> How I'm hearing getting voices out of the doors locked. tell me someone's coming for her in my ear. Directly I'm... in front of you, you will see a, a man standing. Uh, just just Alyssa, mind you. Okay. Uh, Alyssa, just in front of you, you will see a man standing right next to Gracie. 
You recognize him from photographs. Your, your mother's father. Your great grandfather's. Oh, pardon me. Your your grandmother's father, I should say. Um, is standing directly in front of you. She's coming. You have to go. Great grandpa? I have to go. He's speaking to you in Russian, and you're understanding it. Hurry! Okay, who? Well, how? The door's locked! Is there another way out? She's coming! And uh, as he says that, he's going to turn around. Who are you talking to? My great grandfather. Don't worry about it. Uh, what do you two do? Okay. She's gonna like grab Grace and start like running out the room. Sounds uh, great. Gracie will just stumble with her then. She's not gonna really resist. Um, as you rush through the center area of this, of this, uh, of the hallway, you will hear the sound of a tremendous weight hitting the bottom of the elevator, crushing it down upon its springs. And the doors that had kind of sagged shut are going to wrench wide open. Gracie, you will see nothing. Alyssa, on the other side of the elevator, pushing through, you will see a woman nearly nine feet tall, skeletally thin, her fingers the length of knives and equal sharpness. She is a horror show, and she is visible to you, and she steps out her body made of broken glass and razor blades. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I'm so terrified, but it's so funny, and I'm still kind of turned on by her. <laughs> cool. Uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, it's yes. going to come directly at you right now with a snarl, uh, an inhuman look in its eyes, and you will hear it in a soft fucking Martha Stewart voice say, and actually, Gracie, you'll hear this echo through the room, if not seeing that. Time to sleep, little girls. And, uh, you may make me a defensive roll, please, or a dodge roll. Ooh, wait, did they take a... Do we still have dodge? We still have dodge, right? Um, alright. How would I go about doing uh, that? So, Can what you're gonna do is... I've been bouncing between systems too much this weekend, guys. That's fine. Uh, so you are going to... Oh, no, they took away your dodge. They combined it with athletics. That's right. Uh, so uh, I need you to make me a dexterity and athletics roll. And are you choosing to help Gracie? Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, if you're choosing to help Gracie, you can push her out of the way at a, if, by turning your difficulty to eight. Okay. And I'm assuming my perfect balance doesn't come into this, does it? Uh, no. No. Cool. Uh, however, however, if you are choosing to up the difficulty to eight, your daredevil will apply because you're having to put yourself between her and Gracie, which is definitely able of doing more than three levels of lethal damage. So you will gain three oh. dice on this roll. Okay, sweet. It is not Lady Dimitrescu, sadly, because you're not Ethan Winters. I'm sorry. I know, I know, but boy, did Ethan that Winters? did that picture come into my brain, Kelly, when you said that? Yeah, That's... I know. I did say she was nine feet tall. Shit. Uh... Yes, you did. You said she was nine. You said she was skinny, though. So that. Yep. Helped, yep. She she still... ain't got no mommy milkers. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh that, boy. You, the glowing blue is nice, isn't it? I feel like Luke used the. Fire. I know it's great. Cool. Cool, 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 Okay. Cool. Ooh, 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 okay. I feel like I'm still fucked, but hey. Sounds good. This is going to be a contested roll. Uh, so, Gracie, you are going to be thrown forward from behind. Three uh, successes. Three successes. Ooh, that is fantastic. I'm activating your merit, or your flaw. Yeah. Well, I did roll one, uh, one bad thing on this. Okay, cool. Okay. So, so I have five successes to hit you. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So cool, cool do cool, I need cool, to cool. do like Dex and Athletics to not like land badly? I guess. No, you're just gonna be thrown forward. You are. You have um perfect. You have Cat's Grace or Cat's Reflexes. So yeah. Or uh, cat like cat's, balance. Cat like balance. So you you'll be fine. Uh, Gracie, however. Hi. Uh, Gracie's gonna be fine. Alyssa. Oop. I need to learn to roll in my damn bin. Uh, okay, that is going to be. I still can't see anything. Cool. Nope. 
cool, 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 cool. I am going to choose to activate your merit right now, or pardon me, your background. Uh, yep. And you are going to see your grandfather's ghost materialize in front of you, and he is going to be ripped in half, uh, taking three points of this damage from you. Which oh, is thanks, good, Grandpa. Which is great, because I double this damage on the first time I hit you. Yep. So that is going to be... Uh, so it's going to be three off the total, not three off the intro. Sound good? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. How many health boxes do you have left? Five. How dead am I? <laughs> uh, you take seven levels of lethal damage. Huh. Huh. Uh, so as you shove your friend forward, you dive out of the way, and you are going to feel these knife-like blade fingers plunge into your spine. Sweet. And Gracie, as you look back, you are going to see your friend ripped off the ground, her heart pushed through her rib cage by an unseen force. The blood is going to spray around, and for a brief moment, you will see a silhouette of a tall figure behind her, shrouded as if you threw flour onto the invisible man. There's going to be one hell of a shriek of, oh, fuck. And she's going to, like, do this scrambling run on her ass to try and lurch forward and run to Zari. The man next to you is going to turn, look at you, and say, she's coming. She's going to get you. She's going to fucking kill you. Are you. Can you hear me? Me? Yeah, you. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Where do we go? You... How do I get out? She's gonna get you. There's only one choice. What? They're shielded. He says and turns and looks at the empty, open pods. Mm, yeah, she's gonna. She's gonna die. Gracie in. explodes into the room. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's gonna slam one in around her in outside. Uh, slam like hide in one of them. And. I would like to do something to make it harder to... So I have the Shadow Numina. Mm -hmm. And it looks like at sh at two dots, which is what I've got, I can bend shadows to make it harder to be seen. Sounds good. I'm just looking at how this works. It's manipulation and stealth, difficulty seven. Sounds good. And I think you have to spend a willpower to activate that. I do one willpower per level, so I think it costs two, and that would be all my willpower. Sounds good. You can go ahead and do that. Okay. Um. So manipulation and stealth. All right. I don't so have a you lot will, of stealth. You will hop inside. Um. As you run into the room, Gracie, you will see that there is a slightly incorporeal black man wrapped with razor wire standing there. Get in the pods if you want to live. Okay. She's gonna climb in one then. <laughs> fuck I got this and he's gonna push past you and rush into the hallway and you're going to hear the sound of what can only be uh, it sounds like scraping of metal like someone's having a sword fight in a hallway um um it says I have a minus one difficulty to activate if I have a position of a prism or reflective device I assume she does because sure, she knows that how sounds this works. good all right. So it should uh, be difficulty six. I do guess. you hop into the pod and slam it shut? That's what she's doing. Sounds yeah. good. And then doing this or whatever. She just saw Alyssa get killed, and somebody just gave her very clear directions on what to do, so she's gonna do it. Sounds good. Uh, can I get a stamina roll from each of you when you're done? Uh, what'd you get, sure. Amy? No success. No Goodbye, success. willpower. Oh, At I'm least sorry. it wasn't a botch. It wasn't a but... botch. Okay, I need a stamina Almost roll from both of you. Yeah. All right. What's the difficulty? Difficulty is going to be eight. Okay, two successes. Two successes. One success. All right. The uh, the container shuts and you hear it latch. There's a release latch on the inside. Don't worry. Uh, but as you lean back, your arms and legs will automatically fit into the grooves here. And as they do, you will feel a pinch. As your arms touch down onto and your neck touches down 
onto small syringes that begin to pump fluid into your body. Uh, what did you get on yours, Amy? Uh, one success. One success. Uh, you will start to feel drowsy. Hmm. As you hide inside of here. Um, can I try to, like, like activate my core and stay off them? Sure, you may try. You may After try. After the first pinch? You may try, absolutely. Uh, you will see that a little screen to the side says, activating automatic cryostasis. I don't want to get frozen! <laughs> and as you try to surge forward, you will hear a grunt. And for the first time, we'll see what killed Alyssa. Walk through the room, stalking back and forth. Maybe I do. She turns and sees you as you lift up and she slams her hand into the pod. But That's gonna make me jerk backwards back onto the Sounds good. You can't pass it can't pass through though. Something about this is preventing it. It slams its fist again and again into the pod, shaking it. And then suddenly there is a blur of motion from behind. God damn it, Robin, you went black and white and I love it. Um, uh, there is a blur of motion. Uh, Alyssa, what would you like to do? What do you mean? What would you like to do? There is a crazy woman uh, that is trying to bash her way into uh, into this room. Uh, a man is lying on the floor in front of you who's slowly pulling his ectoplasmic guts back in. He looks like he was grievously wounded, but is still alive? He looks over at you and... Oh shit, here we go again. <sighs> a little help? Yeah, of course. She'll rush over to him. And he'll stand up, and that's when you look down, and you'll see that the front of your chest is wide and torn open, but there's no blood. Oh. Huh. You want to help me gank a bitch? Yeah. Tyrell. Yeah. Alyssa. Here. And uh, he'll reach into his chest and pull out a length of steel. It looks like it's made of ectoplasm huh you good at baseball yeah yeah I was pretty good at it uh All I'm right. also just good at punching a bitch too and uh with that um your call uh you, you sneak into the room behind him seeing this woman rock her rock this uh, this pod back and forth back and forth back and forth what do you do I'm a fucking hit the hit a bitch sounds good I would like you to make me a uh, you can make me a dexterity and brawl or melee roll depending on whether or not you're using your fists I will use my fist because I have three points in Brawl, baby. Okay. I wanted to punch a ghost. <laughs> uh, I will say that as you are going forward, um, as you say that, uh, he is going to whisper, think sharp thoughts. And as you do, the bones of your knuckles are going to sharpen. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. cool. This is awesome. I love it. Alrighty. So what is my difficulty? Uh, your difficulty on this, she's not paying attention to you. It's difficulty six. Okay, sweet. Uh, would you spend willpower? Yes, I will. Yes, you will. Fuck yes, I will spend uh, willpower. And he is going to attack with that length of pipe. Oh, damn, he's actually pretty good at this. Good job, Tyrell. Mm, 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 mm. I'm guessing my perfect balance doesn't come into this, It right? does not. It does not. Yeah, it's fine. You oh. know, I, I can try. This is one of those times where a damage roll should be nice, but it's not. Yeah, I got five successes. Five successes. Okay, so what you are going to roll is you're going to roll strength plus uh, six. Strength plus six on this. Because okay. I'm going to say that your fist knives are a plus two. Sweet. So um, do I add up the, the numbers on strength or do I... So you, so you take your total strength amount. Yep. Three dice. Three dice. And then you add yep. four. Five? Did I say five? I said five. five. I said five. So you roll eight dice. 
uh, against, eight dice. Okay. against a difficulty of six. Each one of those is going to deal a level of dav damage. Ah, okay, cool. See, this is why the system, this is the one part of the old World of Darkness system that gets kind of weird, is because you can actually fail a damage roll on a perfect hit. Ah, I see. Uh, there, are, that's what, there are a lot of house rules for it. It's the only part of the system that... It's kind of good for horror because it means that you can feel really impotent if you punch a vampire in the face and you're like, well, that did nothing. Yeah. But. Okay, okay, okay. That's going to be another five points. Another five points of, okay. Five successes. Uh, Tyrell is going to uh, step forward uh, step to the other side of her and say, Yo, scrawny bitch! And as she turns around, is going to slash her across the chest, spilling ectoplasm along the wall. Uh, she is going to reach down and stab into his chest with her fingers. And that is the time where you are going to lunge forward and bury your claws into the back of her throat. There's a moment of tearing sinew and... It's like wrestling a combination of chitin and jello. And suddenly there is a squelch, and she will dissolve beneath you. Huh. Is she gone? Or no? She dissolves to nothing, and as you look down, Tyrell sinks to the ground and begins to dissolve as well. He looks up at you and says, Shit. Sorry, kid. I wish I could have helped you out. It's fine. Thanks for the help before. Feel free to take me for a spin if you want. What do you mean by that? And with his last... Well, not breath, but with his last action, he'll glance up and look over at the third pod which is slowly becoming more and more lit as day glow lights on the inside flare to life. A few minutes later, I need each of you to make me one more stamina roll. Uh, this is going to be difficulty eight, and you okay. each need two, uh, pardon me, uh, you need two successes, Christine, and Amy, you need three. Oh, no. You said eight? Eight, yeah. Nice. I got three. You got three? You got one? Okay. I think so. Wait, uh, shit. I didn't do that with the mi at minus one for being hurt. Nope. Okay. So none then, so I none. think. All right. So Zari, you are going to be, uh, you are going to fall asleep. Mm, that's and, nice. And uh, I need you to make me a full willpower roll, please. Okay. Now this is not at minus one. This for is the not at minus one. This is full. You okay. are, you are will. Uh, you can do whatever you want. What's my difficulty? Difficulty of six. Okay, and do tens explode? Yeah, they do on this. Sure, why not? Three successes. Three successes. You feel kind of... Hmm. Kind of awake. Hmm. And kind of really good, actually. <laughs> nice. And... You sit up and stretch. Mm -hmm. Stand up and look around, and you see that this room is covered in a thin membrane. Ew. How long were you... Did you nap? Did you... And as you glance backward, you're going to see yourself sleeping in a pod. And then you realize you're standing through the bottom half of the pod. You're astral projecting. Ooh. You're a, 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 a ghost. Oh, this is fucking cool. Does Alyssa see Zari? Uh, Alyssa, are yeah. So you are going to see uh, Alyssa standing directly in front of you, incorporeal, her chest ripped open and not bleeding, spectral in front of you. You dead? I don't think so. Huh? But I, I think you are. Oh yeah tall lady with freaking claws came and fucking wrecked me and then I kind of punched her back as a ghost so is you're welcome for saving your life 
I guess. Thanks. How do wait? Zari's looking around at the other at the room and the pods. One of the pods will eject. And um, Gracie, you can actually get out of it. You'll shake off the effects of the of the stasis serum. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it gone? Is it gone? Wait. Um. Touch. Can I see that to touch? <laughs> uh, what is your what's your nature? Who? Loner. Loner. Uh, what's your nature, Zari? Rebel. Rebel. My demeanor is rebel. <laughs> did you did you do anything rebellious this scene, or this this game? Did I? I broke into a building. Okay, I'll give um, you one willpower point back. Okay. I will um, allow you to spend it to manifest for a round. Sure, I will manifest. Zari will Holy appear. Holy shit! Woo! Wait, how'd you do that, Zari? I want a free crowd too. I, you, did, did you fucking die? I'm gonna point at the pod that I'm in. I don't I think, think kill you though. You'll see that it actually has an EKG meter on the side. Boop. Boop. Oh, okay. Boop. Well, actually, pardon what about me. Pardon, the other guy? pardon me. It would be boop. Oh, his name's Tyrell. Boop. It's he she died. has a heartbeat of I believe ten beats per minute or five beats per minute. That's kind of slow. Yeah. Yeah, it's super, super slow. Um looking over, you'll see that Tyrell is being brought out of this. However, his heart has flatlined. Oh, oh shit. Fuck, I think I'm supposed to go in. Um, Gracie's gonna try and open it and do compressions. Sounds good. Uh, popping it open. Um, he's kind of clammy to the touch. Um, looking <laughs> oh, around. God, uh, can you make me a wits and a cult roll, please, um, Alyssa? And you make okay. me a wits and medicine roll, Gracie. Okay. What's my difficulty? Uh, difficulty on this is gonna be six. Three I'm gonna spend a willpower for one automatic success. Sounds good. So that just gives me one on top of whatever I roll, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, what was the difficulty? Difficulty on that is going to be to bring him out. I'll say seven. It's slightly above average, but okay, two, two. So three total. Um, you're having trouble. His heart, you can get it to beat for a second, but the body doesn't really have much of a will to live at the moment. It's like it. it he's he's struggling. He's He's no. He's he's. Damn he's, it, Alyssa! What did you just say? Alyssa, as you look around, you are going to look. You can look down to the hallway and see your dead body there. There's no way that's coming back. But glancing over, can I occult this and suggest something? Maybe. I think she's pretty. She he he's he told her to take him together? for a okay, spin, cool. so I think she can make that connection. Yeah, you she's think gonna you... want. She's gonna wander over and just be like. I wonder how I do this. Do I just touch him and she's gonna like reach out? Spend a point of willpower. That's crazy, desperately trying to do compressions. Spend a point of willpower. Yep. Okay. Uh, and suddenly, Tyrell is going to. <laughs> Holy shit! <gasps> <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Are you, are you okay? It, it, yeah. It's 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 uh, Alyssa. The fuck? <laughs> and I think we're gonna call a game there. And I think um, at the, Gracie okay. just falls over on her ass at that point. Just like, here, hold on. Can I someone can get me out. <laughs> my, my pop is gonna be real mad if I stay in here. Gracie's gonna kind of ha- crawl over to Zari's one and then let her out. <laughs> Sounds. Meanwhile, good. Al- Alyssa's gonna do what every girl would do if she was suddenly found herself in a man's body. She's gonna check her dick. <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Hold on one sec. I got something for you. Grace it's is not, gonna start thinking about like how this guy's been missing for years now. Outline. How yeah. are we getting an ID? <laughs> I see what you're doing on Twitch now, Kelly. <laughs> there you go. I guess I hope he didn't have much you family because this. You're gonna have to fake an awful lot. I rolled a five, so he's fine. Okay. He's fine. Actually, you know what? Why don't you roll a die? Roll a d10. It's your dick. Six. Six. Okay. Well, it's a little better than five. You know, a little so better it's, than five. it's it's like on the it's it's like a bit bigger than average. Good job. Thank you. Thank good good coloration. Job, it's attractive. Sweet. Yeah. Can can Alyssa 
gross. see me if I'm still astral projecting? Oh, yes. For them yes, to Alyssa can me? see okay. ghosts full time now. Sweet. <laughs> she keeps. I mean, can Gracie now? Because she saw them in the pod. Yeah, I'll say mm. that you're mentally scarred enough. You're going to lose a point of humanity and be able to see ghosts. All mm. right. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, do we just press the button and get you out? Sorry. All right, Zari, you're not allowed to do the research anymore. This was too ghostly. Yeah, that was a bit much. Come on. Well, if you don't get me out of here, I'm not doing anything. Come on. Well, Gracie's trying. She's she's moving. She crawled over. Yeah. She was a yeah. little freaked out. She wasn't standing up yet. So oh. Tyrell's gonna like wander awkwardly <laughs> as she's trying to like adjust to the new body. He's pretty beefy. He didn't atrophy as much as he should have in there. Oh mm. man, I'm pretty slow. I like it. All right, and I think as you release each other from the pods and try to figure out what the hell to do with the rest of your lives, we're going to call game there for the night. So. Cool. All right, so anyway, that was Ghost Hunters uh, here. (laughs) So, uh, questions, comments. Did you have fun with that? That was fun. Yes, that was was ridiculous. That was so great. Looking at Ghost Hunters, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with Ghost Hunters because going into this, like there are a bunch of like ideas they give you in the book. Some of them are pretty good, actually. They're like, oh, well, there's a missing hiker. And I was going to lead you in with that at the beginning, but you voted against it. Uh, So what I thought of, I wanted to be like, oh, well, if I only got one chance to run something with ghosts, I'm going to loop back to an old plot that used to exist in the old world of darkness called Orpheus. It was a Hmm. six book mini series game. The first one that they ever did like that. Actually, I just sold all my copies last year uh, to help fund Dork Tale Mm. stuff. Um, Got got decent money for it, actually, because I used to have the entire collection. And I'd Mm. always meant, oh, I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it. I never ran it. And then I kind of ran it a little bit right now. Oh, thank I you so like much. We, we need to bring these characters back in this sort of game, right? Uh, for another one shot later on. Can I but, bring back and Robin will have to be as Tyrell. Tyrell? Yeah, Alyssa yeah. as Tyrell. And well, that can I have that as the titles my character Alyssa Robin as Alyssa as Tyrell. Oh, Robin as Alyssa <laughs> as Tyrell. <laughs> no, I think it should be Robin as Tyrell Jenks. Yeah. yeah. Sure. From here on, you are now Tyrell You're Jenks. Now Tyrell. Identity theft is is a crime. It's not a joke. Shh. Identity theft is not a joke, Alyssa. Says Dwight. Well, the he told he gave me he gave me permission. He <laughs> gave me true. permission. He gave mm-hmm. me. We do need to now. play Orpheus sometime. I, so I like, actually was thinking of doing that for Dorktail someday in the future because the idea we need to of, be like a ghost hunting team now. Yeah. So the idea of Orpheus is ghosts. your corporate ghost hunters, and then things go wrong because it's a six book plot. Mm. It's interesting. I I always thought the mechanics were a little a little difficult like to conceptualize because a lot of it is like. Um, like Tyrell wasn't killed like he was wrapped in razor wire but that's because his dad was abusive and those are emotional scars visualized visualized um also sorry about wrapping anything around a uh yeah um Mm. because that that was like oh yes because like I was I was drawing from personal experience then I was like oh wait ooh ooh that is potentially very insensitive of me Mm. um so sorry about that um you move heaven and earth to play in that. We'll talk, Travis. We'll talk when I have some free time. But I think that Orpheus is a really cool idea because it's it's the first game from White Wolf that was designed to be like, and the only one really, uh, it was designed to be a movie. Like it's, mm. hey, do you want to play like, um, it honestly feels like running a, a season of The Strain. Like a, like an action sci-fi horror series. Mm. But you're mm. ghost hunters. And then shit happens. And then shit happens. This was great. No, this was awesome. This I was- enjoyed being used as a plot device. That was fun. That was great. I love how easy it was in the chat. I'm like, you want to go downstairs? Let oh, yeah. him out. Let him <laughs> out just- in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. I'm just like, we should go downstairs. Yeah, let's go. Um, so uh, I did want to say <laughs> that if you have any questions, I'll feel free to answer it. Uh, basically, um, I won't say anything that would spoil a future plot for Orpheus, but let's just say that all of the companies hate each other because they're <laughs> all competitors. Yeah. Um, but, and the hue thing is interesting because that's not known to the beginning of the plot. So forget I ever said that, that Pigment does that to you. Um, but, um, got ghosts the, in our so she was a specter. That's what happens when wraiths uh, lose their souls, their minds, their ids, mm. uh, pardon me, mm. their, their egos. Um, mm. It's when the wraith is consumed by their shadow, their dark side. Mm. and she's been haunting this facility for a long time because she couldn't get inside that pod which I don't remember if that was actually oh. canon but I'm like eh the pods are shielded fuck it you can tear down the power grid but she just was too angry to think that 
Um, you there. can get all of these on. Uh, oh, I didn't mention drive through RPG. Or, pardon me, uh, Orphan Grinders. Uh, don't mm -hmm. Google that. Um, ooh, you're right. There's plenty left of what? Oh, just of of competitors. Uh, so if you want to get this game, it is. It came out in 2003, which is why I had to update the timeline because I'm like, when did Orpheus publish? Mm. 2003. Fuck. Robin, let's do 2003 instead. <laughs> so it needs to be around the time I'm... Uh, you can find it all in Storyteller's Vault, actually. Mm. Uh, and try not to Google any of it. Hmm. I tried not to spoil a lot. Um, I'm just gonna... I feel like there was a lot of hints. I'm gonna delete that. Sorry, Soul. Mm. But uh, we're, mm. we're here for a, um, a convention's uh, finances. I'm going to suggest you go buy these products legally. Mm. Um... So you can get those at Storyteller's Vault. And uh, what were you saying, Amy? Or on eBay? Oh, just like you hinted at a lot of things, but I only sort of knew bits-ish. Like, I'm like, I know what this company is called. I don't know the rest of this. So like, mm. even though you mentioned stuff, unless I actually had like, like I have no, I don't know what any of this is anyway, yeah, either. Yeah. But you knew like, you yeah. knew enough to know that you should know something about it, right? And you're like, wait a minute. I kind of did. I knew. Well, the well, moment you mentioned Pentex, I was like, Okay, yeah, so this well, isn't just a simple ghost story. This so, is a oh God, fucked no. up ghost story. So they're not connected to Pentex. Although in one of the books, apparently their campuses are right next door to each other. Which is and adorable. I was like, oh, this is too easy. I got, I got to use this. I got to yeah. use this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that kind of told me that it was probably going to be a really weird ghost story. Like yeah. a caused oh, yeah, ghost yeah, story. Yeah. This was not just a natural like haunting or something. Yeah. I yeah. can't believe how easy it is to kill mortals. I forgot. So... <laughs> um, I'm gonna check something real quick. So, so wait, I was, if any I was of us die honestly, now, are we ghosts? Because we all got injected. No, with because that stuff? because you were in a sleeper pod. Those are different. Okay. He, uh, pigment. Pigment, pigment is what does that. Uh, I love oh, that you brought like... that back. I love that you were like, I'm holding us off to do something too, and I was like, uh oh. Yeah. Hello, Q yeah. Times. <laughs> Welcome. We. Hey, Q Times. You just, just I just murdered everybody. Well, no, just one person. That's but me. she came back as a man. It's yeah, better man. now. It's good. Hey, you balanced out because Mike died and came back as a woman. You died and came back as a man. Well, I was saying I traded one. Um, he's like, like the I, I, he's like the well, sports. I was came back. Player. I was a woman, so I was I was hindered by that. So I I, hmm. I upgraded to a man, but now I'm still African American. So you know it balances out for my like, like social how strat. I'm yeah, that's how you're treated by society. Mm. Ooh, yeah. that's that's topical. I yeah. I know. I know. Uh, so um, that was a ghost story that turned into storyteller. Uh, pardon me, into Orpheus. So I'm just going to check real quick and see, for those of you who are interested, how much it is on Storyteller's Vault right now. Okay, while you're doing that, I just want to say, I feel like Zari, after that, may have gone back to try out some of that stuff, because... Oh, dude, you can get it in print, actually. Oh, dude, I mean... She would like to be a ghost. Is, but the problem she... is you have to find a body. If you yeah, want to but get, I like, mean, how much time right? would she have to wander around to find a body? That's true. So, but yes, oh, there you go. It's that, great. So you can get it in print, which is fantastic. Um, so you need the core book, and it's what it is. It's six books. It's one core book and five additional plot books. You can run it without the plot. But um, so looking at this right now, I'm looking at it in Canadian dollars, and yes. what I gotta say, I, I made a killing on selling my copies. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, I sold mine for twice what it's worth printed new. Ah. <laughs> Which, cool, if I ever want to rebuy it, Which, it's like... Apparently, Travis has made some characters on yeah. that are on oh, ST did you? Vault. Some ready-mades. Oh, really? That's rad, man. Mm. Travis is Travis is an old-school White Wolf lover, too. So, like, <laughs> we, we connect on that. Oh, yeah, I totally made a ton of money off this. Fantastic. I love it. Um, also, <laughs> uh, so, hey, uh, don't go anywhere. I got to tell you a couple things real quick. First of all, we are Dork Tales. I hope you enjoyed this here on Dork Tales because we're back at the end of Onyx PathCon. Thank you so much for being here Ooh. and uh, enjoying Onyx PathCon and for, for doing all of the love for OPP. I hope you went and followed everybody whose channel we were on and some of the people that we weren't on. Uh, I want to thank Travis right there, Plastic Age Plays, in the chat for uh, allowing me to run games and for, for just having me as part of the team this year. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got a lot of new follows and a lot of new faces that will hopefully come back for future games. If this is your first time with us, give us a follow. Uh, right now we're doing a lot of D&D, &D, but as of next month, we're doing a ton of World of Darkness stuff again because I've kind of gotten the itch again. Um, I kind of, hmm. I, I, I was off Chronicles of Darkness and World of Darkness stuff during the pandemic because it, it was a little too dark for actual life. 
And also, it's hard because the world of darkness is a, is a satirical world, and between the Trump presidency and the pandemic, it was really hard to do satire. You guys saw me trying to run the technocracy game, and I was just like, "Fuck, man, where do we go from here? How yeah. do I having an idiot president is not like easy anymore?" No. Um, uh, so, oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, but I, I did want to say as well that uh, next month, uh, these three and my friend Jen are going to be in a fully costumed, uh, fully acted, fully amazing Mage the Victorian Era Chronicle that will <laughs> run every Saturday starting on uh, the 24th, I believe. Uh, also, I'll be in costume too, but I, I'm not wearing a corset. Which, to my if knowledge. you saw our game this morning on Occultus Anonymous, I was wearing the wig that I'm going to be That's using for wig. the oh Victorian God, Mage game. I'm going to have to figure out the styling for mine. I got it. the styling for mine. I'm going to have to do so much styling. I'm going to have to try and Crystal. pin that whole mass up. No. And then, uh, and then uh, Travis, also hit me up as well, because I know that uh, you might be looking for some more help next year. And just so you know, I've, I've hosted and ran more than 30 conventions. Like, legit. Like, that yeah. used to be my, my thing. Uh, which is how I met everybody. So talk to me later, buddy. Uh, also about writing, because, hey, if you're already on Storyteller's Vault right now, I have the rapt attention of you here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to say that of the 54 of you in the chat right now, do you like vampires? Do you like <laughs> Clan Ventru? Boy, do I have a book for you. Coming from None More Dark Studios with <laughs> my name not at the beginning this time because I invited a friend to come write whose name comes before mine. Um... <laughs> is uh, False Gods Ventru, which is Vampire the Requiem 2nd Edition clan clan book? I don't know if we can call it a clan book, but a clan-themed book about the Ventru. Uh, it is the third one in the series that we have created. It is fantastic. If you want to read some of my fiction, uh, go check it out. Actually, that fiction is some of the best that I've written in a while. Uh, and we have some really cool bloodlines. We've got Pirate Ventru. We've got... <laughs> Uh, I didn't read everybody else's ones. I All I know is I made the Night Horrors. They're great. There are awakened dogs that go around and kill people. And if you go to Storyteller's Vault, most popular number one is number False one? Gods Ventru. <laughs> number eight is Better Feared Nosferatu. My other also one! Also written by Kelly. <laughs> or with part of Kelly. I can call it a clan um, book. Yes, Travis said I can call it a clan book. Number 16, Strange Shades Maquette. Yeah! I've mean, so, got all three of my books in the books. top 20. <laughs> I love it. Nice uh, yeah, say. so that was the new book. I'm Good presently, job. I actually have to spend all week because I promised my, my editor my fiction would be due prematurely. Uh, it will probably not be because Onyx Pass took a lot of my time this weekend, but uh, I might be working on the sexy vampires. I'm, I'm holding this up to focus the camera, not to anything else. <laughs> well, let's guide to monsters. Like, yeah, I'm gonna write for, for DM. I mean, I'll write shit for the Dungeon Masters <laughs> Guild. They're cool people. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like vampires, go buy it. It's a phenomenal book, and I'm not just saying that because I wrote like thirty thousand words of it or something like that. Um, the fiction is super good. Um, if you like the Chicago setting like I do, welcome because you get to see a lot of Maxwell Clark in that story as well as Solomon Birch. Uh, and I think I, I think I nailed them. I think I nailed their characterization. Uh, basically, they're just both assholes, which is pretty easy. Um, and uh, also, if you ever wanted to play Ventru Vampire Yakuza members, this is the book for you. The Warumono are fantastic. They get magic pat tattoos that let them punch ghosts. Actually, wait, Sam took that one out. They have magic tattoos that let them reverse time. So they're ridiculous. Um, so... Vampuza. It's true. We went through so many names trying to get that Japanese right, and then we just ended up choosing Warumono, which roughly translates to bad guy. Right? Like, what would they call themselves? Cl naming clans is so impossible, or naming bloodlines. You go back and forth and back and forth so much, and you're like, you know what? They call themselves the bad ones. <laughs> Warumono. Right? They're so the cool. bad yeah. guys. Dude. Blah. <laughs> anyway, uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you want to see more of us, we are back tomorrow night with Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Because, yeah, it's rhyme time tomorrow, baby. Holy uh, shit. All also, right. um, I also wanted to say that uh, on Tuesday night is Candlekeep Mysteries this week, where you get to see uh, our good friend Bercarius come over and run an episode of Candlekeep for us. And, oh, exciting! Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, I guarantee you will laugh at my character. You'll probably laugh at Robin's character, too. Um, 
Because I laugh at all the characters. You will laugh at you'll definitely laugh at all the characters. I, my AC is ridiculous. I can't watch. Mm-hmm. I've been uh, busy. You're because yeah. you're streaming because oh, everyone right. should go follow Lady Liliana. Um, I also wanted to say real quick. Um, oh, we'll be back on Wednesday with Shards of Nern. Thursday's my day off. Except I'm going to be over on Travis's channel playing The Witcher. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So go. It's during the day. And then Friday, uh, finally, after a two-week hiatus for Onyx PathCon and uh, vaccine illness, we are back with The Reign of Emery's. Uh, our D&D, yes. cro- the, the, our, like, our most popular or at least widely buzzed D&D game. It's really good because it's basically a story with some dice mechanics on the side. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, on, on th- oh, I need to talk to you three because on Saturday in theory, the schedule has it that we're doing Hexeter. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And I need to make sure that you're down for that before we actually do it. Uh, And then Sunday is... Should be Salt Marsh. Sunday is Salt Marsh, which Amy is running on the channel. Yeah. So I need to finish. Or we're speaking of sexy vampires. I play a sexy vampire, but yes. And I play a sexy (laughs) vigo. Oh, man. I'm a vigo. I'm a fake vigo Mortensen. So, um, folks, you're all wonderful. We love having you here, and we love playing for you. Um, please follow Lady Liliana, that's Christine, Second Gen Gamer, and of course, Paradoxical Ghoul down there. Um, they are phenomenal. You're three of my favorite people on the fucking planet. And I want to do big thanks again to uh, Plastic Age Plays, which is Travis Legg, as well as all of you who came out here and helped us out. You're all wonderful. And of course, all of the Dork fam, I love you very much. You're all, like, seriously, you keep me going when I am exhausted, like I am right now. Uh, So, uh, that's going to be it for us tonight. Which, I feel like we should probably go raid the Onyx Path developers after party. Oh, the con. They are doing Jackbox Party Pack on the Onyx Path. All right, so. The developers uh, are having a little after party. Let's go raid these sons of bitches. Woo. Okay. Raid. Uh, I can keep it all in the... In the Onyx Path family Family. right now. If you can't keep it in your Onyx pants, keep it in your Onyx Path. (laughs) Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. Good night. All right, let's go raid these vampire motherfuckers. (laughs) And Story Path people. Let's go raid them. Dork raid, let's go. Dork raid.